Are you rolling, Jeebus? We're going. Okay. Ready to rock and roll. Welcome back to It's a Gamble. Uh, last time the party uh, acquired its drill bits and a getaway car. It's the near expense of the party wiping. <laughs> they got smarter on the second fight against a pimp. And uh, here we are, back at the bar. Bot continues to eat the pretzels, peanuts, pistachios, and other uh, snack of the years. Looks over at Grim, looks over to Q, looks over to Vincent, looks at Vincent. Grim is doing that thing again. Yeah, apparently he fucking does that a lot. Maybe he's thinking about last night's conquest. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. I'll do it again. Personally, I'd rather not. But if it gets us what we need. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't want to go fucking checking out the, uh, the casino without our talker. Yeah. Oh, oh. The push pen. Push pen. <laughs> what? The push pen. <laughs> oh, what? One you claim to kill. Oh. Well, Greece. Yeah, yeah, Greece. I feel like I'm at a loss here. He's talking about uh, the drug pusher, Jared. Gotta go learn, uh, figure out where he's at. And teach him a fucking something. lesson. Fair enough. Still just kind of waiting anyway. Bot just cracks all of his knuckles. Probably some arm muscle, uh, pops some of the arm bones as well. Yeah, yeah. Go Grease. Fun time. That all you can think about. It's just the next literal conquest. There's a blink. A smile. Yeah. Part of me wants to believe creatures can't be that simple-minded, but I've met some like you before. So. Oh? Another bot? Or another bot? Not another bot, per se. Just simple-minded perspective simple is good not necessarily simple also gets you killed a lot of the times or helps you stay alive because no one bothers you depends how you want to go about it but confused you think too much Well, that's just part of the job. But that makes Q unique. Q is Q. As you watch as some of the metal filings just come off from the door, basically them disarming the alarm and just kind of float around Q again. It's either I think too much or think too little and end up dead. Taught me not to think. 
but just do. Yes, I Things remember you. Fall to place. Right. So what's the plan then, Vincent? Well, I guess the same as yesterday. Search around, Go try out. to find the bastard. See if he's got any friends. Do we want to take the car, or are we just going to go for a nice jaunt? Car's kind of loud, and I don't know where to start, so... It's up to you, really. Your car. And we should save it, at least for now. Especially if we start driving around, people start marking it. Yeah, they see Asshole. this car, someone dies, and the car comes back here. Sewer. Sewer rock. No. I'd rather not. Bob looks over to the bartender. Still doesn't remember her name. I don't think any of us do. It's just... I made up a name and I completely forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is also player say like, I don't... <laughs> Part of me wants to say it's Stacy, but I'm like so wrong. Bob looks over. Chocolate juice. Coming right up. My chocolate juice. I think Bot just asked for chalky milk. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I'm sure the bartender already knows that Bot does not know anything about what drinks he orders. He just says something and that's it. <laughs> he just takes whatever's in front of him. She's as fluent in drunken slurs, which is close to what you are. I'm so <laughs> glad. <laughs> I'm I'll so glad I found that, and it's just a fucking thing. I thought I found it in the background. I think you did. That was the uh, alchemist or whatever background. Or I think I found it and like showed you. It was like a hillbilly background or something. <laughs> and yeah. then I came with that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm all for it. I can only imagine that one of the cups that he gets, bot gets from uh, the bartender is a very cheap metal cup because he is just brutish with his stuff. Oh, yeah. He literally just condensed a shaker cup for him. <laughs> More or less. of not needing to eat or drink sometimes. Yeah, but then you can't taste. Why would I need to taste? It's not like I'm making food for people. You know, it's an enjoyable activity. This, like, kind of cocks their head, like, sideways. What do you like to do, Q? <laughs> Let's see. I can count my marks, go on a stalking spree. I have a list. Right. You're a serial stalker. Only way to get the job done is knowing everyone's personal moves. Is that not what we're doing now? Oh my god. Which is why I'm going to put you in the lead on this. I'm not... Uh... Bird watching. No. Not a fan of those vermin. Aracocra? <laughs> Bot tilts his head. No bird watching. Watch lots of birds. Grease them. How would you, uh, why do you grease birds? How, how do you catch a bird? Actually, that brings up a good point. Are you referring to the human birds? Or the elf bird? Or the bird people? Two legs. No ah. fur. Mm -hmm. 
think he's referring to ASMR. That... But by that logic, I'm a bird. <laughs> I'm a long looking Vincent. That says, no. Vincent is Vince. Not bird. <clears throat> Fluffy he is. Thank you. Speaking of stalking and my general well, what job. What is. Asumar. Angel people. That tastes good. What? No. I haven't tried it. I don't eat people, but. But we'll try. Uh, of course you will. Are we sure he's not a cannibal in disguise? He's not in a disguise. I think he's just a cannibal. Wouldn't that mean you'd have to eat his own? No one the bartender sets down another drink. Bot, you ever eat another I'll eat no otter pot. folk? <clears throat> bot blinks for a second. Bot is bot. Found no other like bot. Well, I guess then he, by technicality, can't be a cannibal. <laughs> With this coming up, has Vincent <laughs> ever heard of Otterfolk before? Or yeah, anything that's that distinguishes a, a bot? Yes. There are other Otterfolk. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I just bots never met any. Yeah, and also, bot is the giant variant. Or are we just super cool with a fucking test tube Cannibal. baby? <laughs> I mean, they tend they tend to prefer river areas and <laughs> oh literally nowhere near here oceanic coasts you know <laughs> let's face it bots are but you are a long way from home aren't you hmm but no no but no remember no pass. Ten summers ago. What do I get a phone? And, and he holds up two. He holds up two uh, pointer fingers up. Oh damn! Why do I feel like Bot is just the Rocket Raccoon equivalent of this fucking game? <laughs> get <No>. more angry. <laughs> you cannot get an intelligent conversation from Bot, but yeah, you'll have an entertaining one. That I can assure you. I guess I should get out there. Oh, oh nice. Oh, I need to go ask a fireball, a rock, and a water hose about things. Pot, are you sure you're not on drugs? Huh? You know what one of the guys he ate last night was? Um, one other thing. Are we going to at least look into that musician that showed up the other day? Even though we can't get too close, considering our musician is a bit under the influence of something at the moment. As it's still at least behoove us to look. Rim cooking. See smoke. Out of ears. I don't think that's cooking, but... Also nose and mouth. Definitely not cooking. It smells like food. That's probably his brain chugging. Mm, mm. Okay. But, as I was saying, it would at least benefit us to look into some of the some of the matters of the musician, at least from afar. We should definitely be trying up. to figure out who the upper crust of the uh, clientele are there as well. Also, I may need a better disguise, considering walking in with a hood and a rifle on my back is probably going to get taken either way. Yeah, that's not going to go great. <laughs> you watch it, like they 
fist or like root around the uh, their pocket a little bit and just put like a small bow tie and then take off the hood. I'm ready. <laughs> like it's magnetic and it just clips on. Ma <laughs> looks at the rifle. Looks at his stomach. Looks at the rifle again. Bot no think pouch could fit rifle. I'm not worried about that. They'll probably okay. take it. Have a check in at the door. Where most of the rich and elite will be able to keep it, but the common folk won't, so... I've been through enough of these things to kind of understand the flow of it. That's why I prefer to stay outside, rather than go in. Bot shows his... brass knuckles. Bot mean only these. Some of us aren't endowed with that ability to just punch things better. Yeah, I yeah. kind of need my armor to do fucking anything. <laughs> Bot punch good. And bite. So we've seen. And slab. Oh. I mean, you could always come up from the toilet and attack someone. Oh my god. Oh, good idea. That sounds fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> when a man's is most vulnerable. I see no problem. Yeah. I see several no moral problem. problems. That's the problem. You're trying to apply morality to a warforge that doesn't believe in it. There was that time you did rig a grenade to that toilet lid. Worked like a charm. <laughs> Slowly just making problems. Wait, will this character best that other character that was just fucking pure evil, but no one cared? <laughs> the unfortunate thing is, we can't fault him. He's just who he is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he, he is effective because he chooses to be. Yep. I guess I mean, it fucking works. Do... Yeah. Bot will do what Bot does best. Kill. Eight? Pistachios. Oh. Well, he's also eating a napkin while he's at it. Drink all my good booze? I feel like there's a long list that could be described as best. Get him drink booze more. Fair enough. Hopefully this club endeavor isn't too bad for us. Okay, so... Uh, Q will just put their cloak down on the bar stool. The, like I said, just attach the metal bow tie to their thing. Well, any of your friends <laughs> drug addicts? Got Think like a really hard twitchy squirrel friend or a... Chipmunk buddy? For a brief moment you see some clarity in uh, bot's eyes. No. Fuck. <laughs> all, all, all vow not to take drugs or use. Actually, Walter Horse might know some. That's grim, That's but he's. He's still breathing? I think he is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said Walter Horse. Water hose. 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 Yeah. Y you know a hooker. Oh, you? <laughs> no, nah, it was... <laughs> Bot just killed his tail all the way around. <laughs> Vincent made the joke on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Bot not getting jokes, but uh, he goes with... No, water hose. Oh, a triton hooker. Okay. What? Does not have All right, Bot. Can you please go go see if your water hose knows of a drug dealer named Jared? Okay. Should we Bot follow? gets up. Yeah, we probably should. We'll Sc be... uh, scuff down the last pretzels. Bot, go. Okay. It's a good thing you guys pay me enough to let you stay here. Yeah. Could be worse. We could all just be out on the street talking like this. Oh, he's back. 
Buff pops his head back in. Stares for a very long moment. What? Jared. Yes. Wait. Nothing else. You want the last name too? Jared Frond. Jared Fraud. Okay. Frond. Fraud. Frond. Frog. That's not worth fighting. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts his head on Vincent. Like, I was surprised he got the head. first name. I didn't think he was going to be able to do this second. Oh my god. Of okay. course, Miser rolls a nat 20 on that. <laughs> he rolled a nat 20 on something else, I think. Should we follow then? Bot also, or... medicine. Water hose. Medicine. She's a doctor? The brain pipe near an apothecary? Little Scotty's lost in the well? Water hose sticks up many times. Oh, uh, yep, a doctor. Bot then proceeded no. to show all these various scars that got uh, stitched up. Okay. No, we could use a doctor on the payroll, considering we have no payroll. Bot asks. Bot opens the door. They sign leaving door open, he just rushes out. <laughs> should we follow him? We should stay in the general area. He usually is able to step us out. We should probably be doing our type of surveillance. You probably Looking. hear in the distance of a manhole getting ripped out and Bot just diving in. Well, I don't wish to go in the sewer, so... I absolutely refuse. So stalk the musician place and see what happens, and then hope Bot comes to back to us in time? Let's be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> and I just head out. Uh, Q, like I said, leaves his cloak and again only has the magnetic fucking bow tie. <laughs> Do you want me to get the happy marker out? Not yet. Pulls out like a permanent marker. I can draw the face if we need it. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Alright. So who are you going to see, Miser? Uh, Miss Penny. She's the uh, underground doctor. <laughs> That bot always gets patched up in. <laughs> All right. Just a moment. What kind of establishment does she tend to go to? Uh, it's mostly underground establishments. Uh, only those that know her actually are her clients. And because of uh, her connections, she is the... She works more on favors. So those that usually come to get her services usually have to pay her back not just only by currency but also by favors and she has been the one that patched up bot multiple times when he was in near death or had uh quote unquote died and some others had to drag his butt back over there but the one key thing is that it's only reachable by uh sewer areas because of uh what she actually is All right. Since you know your way, I'm not going to make you roll anything for it. And she is usually at her usual spot. Okay. 
of course, bot knowing the procedure. Make sure to announce his arrival. Miss Penny, bot's arriving. Need a assistance, not medical. Not yet, at the least. Well, that's different. How can I help you? Yet. So, new gig, I am sure Mr. Tart and Miss Vixen may have informed you through Conclave. Yeah. But currently, we are making preparations. The, uh, <clears throat> One of my crewmates temporarily is in need of information on a Jared Fraud, Ford, Frog, a drug pusher. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Yes, apparently we are in need of information of his movements and other things of well he is going to be greased very soon usual gangster sort of thing no good to hear at least you can find him down on second and east second and east Bot just quietly scribbles that down, or at least scratches himself a little bit. Alright, Ike, I must translate this as idiotically as possible, not to blow up my cover too much. Also, is it possible for the other three to have your services of the doctor? healing arts if they are in need of it. You vouch for them. You know the rules. Mm. The only one I can vouch for that will probably not be problematic is the bunny one, Vincent. Grim, I suspect he will attempt to woo you in more ways than one. Q. I do not like him. Much. Too cold. Hmm. Well, I suppose if they need help, I need help. Oh, this will be much fun. I like to see how Vincent will react when he has to know the pathway to your hideout. There's actually a psychotic grin on his face. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hello. I have an alarm. Well, if you want, three of us are. Uh... <coughs> I was just putting in, the, in our group chat daylight savings. Get your cowpoke ass yeah. in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> No worries. Uh, not, none of my stuff is updated yet. No worries. Bot just ran off to go uh, see his uh, doctor. While everyone, while the other two are going to go see the musician, so you can choose which one you want to go follow. But Bot went down the sewers again. Bot I will go with the boys. Okay, we're not going the bot. To, yeah, we're going to basically stock out. I I guess like a bar or wherever the musician Stake is out, playing. Yeah. yeah. I said stock you know. out. I knew what I meant. <laughs> you said stock, man, but okay. Uh, I mean, anyway. I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Bot just rolled us. All right. By any chance, do you need any small jobs done? Seeing we still have much time of the freedom and preparation. I'm sorry, I missed that. What? Bosh is asking uh, Miss Penny if uh, she needs him to do any dirty work for her. Not yet. Okay. Consider Fron part of it. 
X event. So the Vincent wants to kill him, him wants to grease him himself, but uh should I make any recommendations? No. I just know the guy's slippery. Okay. The slow painful greasing. Understood. Thank you, Miss Penny. And Spot gives a polite bow. He scurries back into the waters to head back to the bar. I can't wait to figure out that fucking the drug pusher is part slime. It's gonna be the... Uh-oh. Hearing that, Bob's gonna... Hearing these sirens in the background, Bob's gonna probably keep really low. Thank you, fucked up. Meanwhile, on the other side of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to upload the map. Oh, as we're going, I guess. Oh, Vincent, I think our cowboy's awake. Like, right before we leave. Grab, get your ass up. Yep. I'm up. We're going to go stalk a musician. And We're going to go have lunch at a bar. This is good music. <laughs> you also do notice, by the way, uh, Grim, that Q took off their cloak and put on like a magnetic bow tie, like right where a shirt would be. Oh, it's a formal occasion. Even the robot dressed up. It's better to blend in and stick out sometimes. All right. Pull you guys to the map. Some booze, cheap alcohol. You can fucking smell. I have all the furry factors that go through and occasionally tell me what the general smell is, but I don't smell myself. No. Right. Well, what? What the fuck ever. Vincent will go over and hold open the door for the boys. Oh, wait, that's a window. <laughs> well, I went that's through the window. window. <laughs> Where? <laughs> he went, he went through the I, I window. Like, I imagine, I, I imagine Grimm's, Grimm's looking through the window, like, very yeah. intently, and then, like, thinks about it, like, nah, I should have jumped through it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Grimm a... went through the window. Runs off to the door to open up the door and offer a passage for you and Vincent. Oh, God. Well, this joint's about as empty as ours. Actually, it's full of people. I just don't populate oh. the map. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, this joint is packed. I don't ever expect to see our establishment have many customers and if they are they're probably going to be dead at the door considering some of the traps i rigged up it's still a business considering your bar actually operates as a bar during business hours i know <laughs> q doesn't q just assumes no one comes there though because of how it looks they just feed bot all those no, bodies it's, it's common for regulars <laughs> it's one of those bars oh the Japanese style bar where only five people come in, but it's like the same five people that drop like a hundred dollar bills. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So, of course, up on stage, 
playing guitar. Dibs. All yours. <laughs> Place is loud. A lot of lights. Dancing, all that kind of stuff. Oh god, she plays the guitar dubstep. You guys can make me a uh, perception roll. Absolutely. My favorite. Or uh, investigation, whichever is higher. Uh, my perception is higher. Everybody? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. All right, Vincent. Well, for everybody else, there's a lot of people in here. Um, all different walks of life, it looks like. Vincent, what you discover looking at this is there definitely seems to be two different types of clientele. Um, some people who are just out for dancing and a group of people who look like they're connected to each other. Mm. Uh, is that group talking to each other? Yeah. General vibe of the conversation, uh, as long as they're speaking common goblin or under common. Well, in common, if you're really listening in, go ahead and, I mean, with your score, that's how you kind of pick it up, is they kind of tend to be what you'd call the low end of a mob. Uh, all right. <laughs> and with observant, yeah. They're, they're talking, I mean, some of them are talking business, like, you know, what job they just pulled or this or that, but a lot of them are just having a good time. Uh, what is, uh, like, the security of the bar look like? Is there anybody blatantly being security, or is it probably these gentlemen? There was a bouncer. Um, big burly guy. But as far as security in here, you haven't seen another bouncer. Alright. Is there... Sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. Um, in this kind of, like, bar area, is there, like, people serving drinks on trays or anything? Or is it kind of, like, at your own leisure? Like, I don't know. Like, how high-end is this kind of? Or so there's a like... waitress. See anything interesting, Vincent? As cute as kind of looking through some things. Just a couple of, uh... Gentlemen in the business. Right that table over there. If you wish, I can impersonate a waiter and sit ranks some wait staff and at least get us some. Oh my fucking god, yes! I, I hate that. I so love much. it! <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Oh, nice. I it's the business casual grill. Or his brother Drell. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love fuck I've never thought I would say a fucking works in suit, but it's fucking amazing. That's great. Uh he'll actually look over to uh Grim. How good your pool hustle game. I've been known to hustle a few in my days. Well. I catch your drift. Try to get some info. While you're at it. 100 gold says I can beat any man in pool. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to take a revolver to someone's head. At first, they look at you like the most incredulous thing just walked in, and then they're like, okay, okay. Do 
wish me to help with the weight staff or help him Grim just in case. You might want to stick around, yeah. Keep an eye on him. Give me one minute. Um, where does the which way does the waitress go, Moogle? She could go wherever somebody raises their hand or. No, 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 no. Like I meant when like she goes back for the food and stuff. Like which way? She goes to the bar. There's nowhere to like. This isn't but, but, a food bar. This yeah, I got a food bar. This is bar. bar. <laughs> yeah. Well. And they don't this have is, you're here for drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as much as I'd like to make a fool of myself. Q, they're, uh, right. they're gonna know who the wait staff are. They own the place. Yeah. Figured. But, butler bot routine always works. You just hear like the sigh. Oh, come on, go up there and be a kiss ass. Working for flesh people, but the ignorant usually tend to be blind. <laughs> they just go up to the bar. Good evening, madam. May I assist you? I love Butler Bot. <laughs> he just sits in his chair and relaxes. <laughs> Since you need one, I'll just bring one on. Fucking racists. What? <laughs> I have the bunny outfit. <laughs> Fuck you, mine are real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I just pulled out the D and D version of blackface. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. I'm so glad that's on stream because that's definitely a fucking horrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Vincent here's like, why do fucking humans find life of Faisy so goddamn attractive? <laughs> you know exactly why they find your species attractive. <laughs> it's the ears and the long the legs. There's a reason why fuck um, like rabbits is a I term. look fucking fantastic in a corset. <laughs> <laughs> In Moogle, the I idea... The water, fuck you, g -Man. The idea is, for Grim, that he's gonna intentionally lose the first game, and then go double or nothing. And win. Oh, well, attempt to win. Okay, um... Why don't you give me a performance roll? Okay. Or a hey. slant, whichever one's higher for you. Um... They're actually the same, but I will go. I will go for performance. Oh, I don't think you can roll below that, can you? I don't think I can. No. Physical minimum. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Those are exactly the smartest. So they pull. They, you pull off the. Oh, I lost. All right, so you want to double down? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, then I'll need another roll. Same. Okay. Thing. Yep. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he did one better, which is like him giving one percent more effort. Yeah. Oh. Well. Uh. He just beats you. I've, I've lost 200 gold. <laughs> it was a close game. Well. How about I win it all back in a game of poker? You boys interested? They all kind of eye each other for a moment. Yeah, sure. They're gonna lead you uh, up to a door. So here. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to this back here. Yeah. <laughs> Man's about to have two broken kneecaps. Oh. He's something worse. <laughs> Ends the echoing inside of Vincent's mind. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 
too, meanwhile. I have a job. And now... <laughs> first hand all in, using sleight of hand to cheat. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we do. I have what? Yeah. Yeah. So once, so once a uh, session, we have inspiration. You where get we get inspiration every start of every game session. Oh, okay. So I can add what six to it? No, you could roll. Um, uh, roll again. Roll again. Oh, okay. Okay. I will definitely roll again. Um, okay, yes, yes, I will definitely roll again because I don't want to get my legs broken. <laughs> okay, I'm happy. <laughs> you know. I was waiting for Moogle to roll his commoner stats again. Oh, fucking fuck, roll again. fuck Moogle's commoner stats. <laughs> my freaking nobles, or my no security guard. Level one secure guard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I'll let you decide, money-wise, what it, I made, because I don't want to really be like, oh, well, I went all in 380 gold, and then have that times five, because that's kind of broken. Well, they'd have to match. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh... Wait, you already lost the 200, so it'll be one... 80, I guess? Yeah. No, you have more. I lost oh. 200 on the pool, and then I went all in 380 on um, the, the first oh. hand. Okay. So I'm at 1900. Time. Remember that siren going off? This is why it was going off. Yeah, it's still come out to an amount. <laughs> okay. These boys want to win it back. They're uh, they're not going to let you get away with just one hand. All right. Well, I'll let them. We'll we'll cut away from me and just yeah. <laughs> yep. Just made nineteen hundred calls. <laughs> All right, back to uh, the waitress. Uh, and, uh, a robot boy. Uh, no, that, she is confused because, you know, no one asks that kind of stuff. Uh, just to catch up for the one who had to walk away from saying, what did you ask? He was asking yeah. her basically to be assisted. If they need assistance with bartending. So Q went essentially, because I do have actor, and one of the modes that is technically pre-installed is butler mode, so it's just them being general actual Warforge that's been described as like one to help with odd jobs here and there. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Can I assist you in any way, shape, or form, ma'am? You seem to be quite tired as running from table to table seems to take a lot out of you. She looks at the bartender, she looks at you. Uh, no, this is my job, I'm doing fine, thank you. Quite sorry. It is just weird for me as I haven't found a job in a little bit. As you know, some people don't like hiring Warforges. And like, you just kind of feel like a sad violin coming from inside their chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, this is a weird question. Can I roll persuasion with advantage because it's technically going into actor? <laughs> yeah, do you, whatever your actor feed allows. Uh, let me read it just to make sure. Uh, you advantage on performance checks when you try to pass off yourself as a different person. I guess performance would probably be more. Well, there's a bounce trip. Let me just do advantage performance. Or just, 
Would it be performance or deception? I guess I'm technically lying, so I'd be important. Yeah. Okay. Uh, still have advantage on that. Holy fuck! Yo! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Like, I tell you, they can't touch beat that. dice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are rolling Why? too hot. I know I'm gonna bring it down. <laughs> we believe in you, buddy. There, I found a token for the bouncer. Uh oh. Oh, fuck! Man, I... Okay! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Where's that fight, gentlemen? Oh. Did he just enter? No, he's the. He's the. Oh, the manager. Oh, okay, okay. He's the bouncer. Either way, if you don't wish to employ me or for my aid, I do apologize. As you watch, they kind of ship their magnetic bow a little. And any intrusion that I may have caused to you or your establishment. Okay, yeah. Um, it's okay, just go. If you're having a drink, have a drink. Very well then. You both have a nice day. He just <laughs> inside cues that. Fuck, I hate this so much. Oh, did Butler bot not work? Badly no. Did you not even give me a fucking drink? Didn't know I was serving you. <laughs> kind of like kind of just side eye you. Like just two of the slits just slowly close to side eye you. Did not mean to do that. Uh, he'll so uh if, if are like people ordering at the bar and then she'll take it to them or is she you know doing server things server things so uh after sitting here for a while uh vincent will just kind of like raise his hand get her attention Okay. But I did just realize that for my performance check, I could have did that. <laughs> I could have used expertise. Well, I should have, right? Yeah. Well, performance just it adds your could be doubles a... your efficiency score on it. Oh, okay. So does Q usually anyway. like get anything when we go out, like player to player? God, since I'm technically in the actor form, probably something like just to grease the wheels, I guess. I don't know above table, like if there'd be anything to drink like oil or if bars would sell them at this place or anything like that. Yes, they sell oil of a fine vintage. <laughs> Finally. Okay, I, what I, was I just for, figured out. Pens oil in a can, my favorite. Two whiskey highballs and uh... fine vintage. A Warforged special. And something for our entertainer. Let me do a test roll here quick, see if I did actually do it right. I did. Now it adds five, which is my proficiency bonus on charisma. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm learning. Well, here, let me take a look at your sheiks, I think. Yeah, I think I did it a weird way. Yeah. I just went into the thing and added plus five, but I don't think that's uh, the way yeah, to do it, right? right? Okay, yeah. okay, then I did it incorrectly. So, so, so in the settings uh, tab of your character sheet, there's like, uh, watch what Moogle does, because I'm sure it'll change on yours. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so down at the very bottom. Yep. There's these ones that say normal. Oh, okay, okay. You have performance, you have expertise in that, and you have yeah. expertise in... Persuasion. persuasion. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, that makes more sense. Yeah, I guess adding plus five would be... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so now you go back and your persuasion is 11 and your performance yeah, is yeah. six. Okay, cool. Thanks. You took expertise in something you didn't actually take a skill in? I don't... Can you do that? No. You have to be proficient to take expertise. Okay, okay, well then I'll just put it to sleight of hand instead. <laughs> I've never played a bard, so I didn't know. 
yeah, yeah. So, yeah it's, it's just the same process. So yep, first. yep. Yeah, no worries. You, like that's I usually use character mancer, so I have to remember how to go back into that page and do that. Actually, I'll character do uh, deception and persuasion. I'm so used to doing it myself that I can't even use character mancer. <laughs> Mine is just I like, don't want to do the math myself because I've screwed it up before in the past. So Fair enough. Follow. Okay, cool. Now it's fixed. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, back to Vincent. You catch the roll of the eyes and the sigh as you order one for the talent. <laughs> oh, hello again. <laughs> he got he just looked up. Does the talent often get orders from other people? Quite curious. <sighs> a lot. Secret admirers, people that wish to meet her? Yeah, you name it. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> he kind of just nods. I just kind of goes back to like staring off into space more in like their butler form like they were before. As she, like, you notice this, but she, like, he's trying to keep it away from her. But as, like, as she's talking to you and, like, looks at you, Vincent's face cannot just hold the distaste that he has for her outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was also going to be laughing at fucking Q being, like, normal and, like, showing emotion. <laughs> I guess it's a bit of both. Yeah, it was the only one I had, but no, oh, of funny. course, no, it's it's more than funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're quite talented yourself. So why don't you get yourself one? Oh, well, can't drink on the job, but I will. But she can. Hmm. But she can. <laughs> yeah. What a weird establishment of rules. You human beings are so funny. And like, just a laugh track just goes through. Cute. It's just that like, twitch of the left ear. <laughs> like, you motherfucker. <laughs> you can roll me a perception if you want. Both of us? Yeah. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I love... I love Joe Cube. I'm telling you, I hate doing this. All the time. <laughs> He's too distracted and angry from the angry? funny girl. The, yeah, the ears. <laughs> yeah. Uh, perception. That was not an advantage, by the way. Oh, I saw the one. <laughs> 17. Well, Vincent, people are in the way. Uh, Q, for whatever reason your robot eyes yeah there's quite a stack of glasses uh up there on stage that are clearly from the severance it seems he has many admirers and doesn't have to pay a single dollar to the bar or, piece of, or silver but brain just turned off watch the bartender see if he's actually pouring alcohol in her glass uh would I roll another perception or investigation or no? You'd roll another perception. Okie dokie. I will probably burn my inspiration. Don't I see don't shit. This one up. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen. Mm, yeah, if you want to use your inspiration, yeah, that's. Uh... Oh, I. Oh, I did. That was why I gave myself advantage on that one. Okay. Yeah. Use foreigner uh, whiskey. Seems to be whiskey on the rocks. At least. I remember an old bard. No, drink. it's just brought whiskey. There, there's no oh. rock. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. In fact, what's that um, one? It's a uh, chili pepper and uh, whiskey with uh, so it's, it's a squeeze of lime or something. That sounds familiar, and I think I know I've had Jackie. it before. My fiance is a bartender. Oh, that's care. Well, I, I think it's the one that Jackie orders when he goes to from Cyberpunk. Oh, that? I mean, I think that's called the Johnny that's Silverhand. That's, I know Johnny yeah. Silverhand is with tequila. Is it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, tequila with uh, a bit of salt. I mean, it's, it's just like taking a tequila shot with uh, tahini and a lime. 
Yeah, usually, yeah. um, I think it's just the Earth, like, rather than, always. Can't believe she's getting a Moscow Mule. We, we, we usually call it the, uh, El Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> That, that makes sense. Is very fitting. That's actually that very sense. fitting for her character. So I take, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, the joke of it is that we're drinking tequila with uh, powdered uh, spice. Ugh. It's like a spicy old fashioned. It's. I mean, if it, you'd have to try it, it's not actually as bad as you think it is, Mariner. Never mind. Jackie Oak gets a Moscow Mule. God damn it! <laughs> what I get for saying it. That also makes sense, though. Um, so Moogle, I will intentionally lose a couple hands and like lose like 200 gold and then try to leave. Okay. <laughs> Roll me some performance. Oh, okay. Fuck the or cowboy slide of hand. He's been playing uh, or slide of hand. my estimation about yeah. four, 45 minutes and a few seconds. Have your robot hear, ears heard any kneecaps breaking yet? Well, they haven't set up an alarm, or I've seen more security running in there, so no. Okay, first one, and... It says he hasn't gotten the Derringer off. I don't think he's in trouble yet. Another one? Second one for your second hand, yeah. Yep. Also, remind me never to activate... Oh, of course, you just rolls, hell yeah. Way. Well, it's a lot lower DC, considering you're trying to lose, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to use butler mode to try to, you know, get in her good graces acting like my butler. Well, gentlemen, doesn't seem my, like my luck's in favor tonight. As much as I'd like to walk up on stage. Yeah. You bested me. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to leave. Kinda, they all kind of, you know, hey, come on, keep playing. <laughs> Keep playing, or no. else we're gonna bring your knees. <laughs> no, no, boys. I gotta go. Are they gonna let me leave? Yeah, they'll let you leave. Alright, cool. I think Bob There's protests, but they'll let you leave. Yeah. Well, boys, I just made about 1,700 gold. I've embarrassed Vincent in front of a person, so I feel accomplished for today. You're gonna embarrass me? <laughs> I want to have a talk with the owner of this establishment about how they're dressed in their fucking white stuff. Just brings your drinks. <laughs> Obviously would not have said that in front of her. <laughs> yep. Uh, how, pa how packed is this place? Pretty. Like, so it's like wall to wall almost. Yeah, where you guys are sitting is, you know, there's more than a few people to each table. Um, the dance floor is definitely packed. I want to do something dumb. Are there, like, well, a bunch boys? of different uh, crime families in the city, or is the mob the mob here? There are different crimes to the kids, yeah. Can I get an idea of which family they're, these guys are working for? Somehow? Sure. I don't, I don't know if they, like, wear pins or have a certain signet ring. Uh, you can roll me oh, a actually. pin or investigation. I will investigate the hell out of this. Nice. Okay. These ones are part of uh, the Lorenzo family, which is another mob in town. Well, boys, have you tried to get their attention yet? Tried, but if you can tell by the stack of glasses on her page up there, really didn't do much yet. Oh. All you did was try to buy her a drink? I haven't had a whole lot of fucking time. Uh, let me show you how it's done. Uh, waitress. Can I get your attention over here for a moment? Oh, fucking God, if you buy her a drink, I'm shooting you. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's her no. tab? Doesn't have one. Uh, she doesn't have one. Mm -hmm. Mostly because people keep buying her drinks. And I want you to notice, like, she... The amount of alcohol she's consumed, she should be pretty... 
She's got some tolerance. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, let me do some math there real quick. Um, is there agent in the house, ma'am? I don't believe she has an agent. Perfect. Oh, does she not work for the family? You can see a bunny girl sweat. <laughs> oh no, her ears are sweating. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's an actual bunny one. No, she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, doll, the big green boys fire. don't hide it well. There, it's a. There's various different types. It's not just all orcs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just use the same token to signify them. That's totally fine. Mostly because I found it funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I swear I'm gonna well, let me token. take off my notes. Orc mob family. <laughs> Instead of oh, just. <laughs> yeah, they're actually a pair of halflings. <laughs> oh God. They're actually half four halflings in a trench coat with green face paint. <laughs> the big oh. big joke is, is you know they have little man syndrome. Oh God! <laughs> Doll, we ain't with the law. Which is why they have a habit of taking out people's knees. <laughs> Vincent, <laughs> so they can actually punch him on that level. <laughs> oh God! Is this is Vincent? Is this where you, you got guys... paper on you? Always. All right, slide me over. He'll open up his briefcase, take out a piece of paper, and hand you his fountain pen from his breast pocket. What the fuck are you doing? No worries, love. We're not with the law, we're not with a rival family, or nothing like that. Just... keen observer. No, as far as I know, she doesn't work for the family. She She's her own entity. I'm gonna write that on a small note and then hand it to the waitress and say, give her the, like, uh, get that woman the your most top shelf alcohol, please. And give that to her. Why and then I'll give like the waitress like a 10 gold tip. <laughs> We're so gonna die in here. No. She, uh... I'm poised Let's hope that works. I'm poised less than 15 feet away from a window. And she delivers it. We're going back to work. You think Bob's gonna find that arrow I drew near the manhole? Perhaps. Do you want me to call the keen eyes? Because she seems to be interested in her work. And maybe if I cause the bar fight, it'll be an interesting thing for Bot to come back to. I will leave that to the DM. No, no, no. I'm, asking, I'd say, I'm asking Vincent and Grim. I'd say put that in your pocket for a minute. Hold on to that idea. We might have to, but. Well, the thing is, if you've noticed, at least. The bodyguards right here seem to be well within their drinks, and from doing so, all one needs to do, as he kind of holds up a little bit of his metal shavings, knock over a glass, spill it in a lap, and have one blame the other, and then we can start a quick bar fight. Maybe bloodshed, too. He just was as cute, again, just cold and calculating about that. Well, let's wait to see what she does after her song ends. Fine by me. Let's see if Bob I have shows up. You wanna, if we get into a fight, let's uh, have the big man around. Fair enough. I have somehow made the most despicable character, and I love them. <laughs> Fucking no chill. Ready to go off the rails at any time. <laughs> let's see what she does. It's bad when Grim is one of the voices of reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Bot, after waiting a little while and doesn't hear from any of you guys, starts to make his 
way through the sewers because he still panics when he hears the sirens. <laughs> I should mention the sirens are going regularly. I mean, it is a city. Oh, it's someone said this. Someone should sit on. Ugh. Someone shit. I'm gonna have a stroke. Someone set shit on fire. So during one of the breaks, she makes her way over. So you're the man in the hat. Yes, I am, ma'am. And what kind of gig are you looking for? Well, we got a little speakeasy. Could use some singing. Pay real well, though. How much are we talking? Well, what are you making here? I could double it. You think you can double a full house? Your bar bigger than this one? Our bar is significantly smaller than this one, ma'am. But it's not about the size of the bar. It's about the the tenure of the people. But I am just the money man. You should talk to my friend Ears here about the whole gig. And I kick Vincent in the leg under the table. Fucking what? We have. Come on, management. Uh, yes, we are throwing a party for some relatively influential individuals around town. And, from what I've heard tonight, you're one of the best in town. Oh, flattery will get you some. Alright. Let me see. Now... Are you serious about hiring her or not? I don't fucking know, man. I'm no. playing along. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's we're just trying to get her to scrambling. <laughs> we're trying to get her to get back to the bar so we can get some information. I'm. This was this my plan. Go so fucking horrible. No. <laughs> okay. Do you want a deception roll? If you want. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're an eloquence okay. card, right? When you're looking at having it. I'm a what, sir? When are you looking at having this gig? What? I think tomorrow would be. Ah. He holds up a hand. It's going to be in three days. But I would like to go over the set list with you, if you don't mind. See the acoustics? Okay. I'd also like to point out, uh, yeah, he has a silver tongue bar, so technically he can't roll below a 21. Which is what I was asking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I forgot him, silver tongue. <laughs> Actually built really well for this campaign. <laughs> yeah, take that, musician lady. I charmed your pants off. No, I'm not actually saying that. <laughs> Please don't fucking say that. I'm a little worried you did say that. But what do you say, lady? Three days time, come will you do the gig, but I think my friend Ear is here will have you come over and go over some stuff first. Alright, alright. I said 
Uh, give me the address and I'll be there. Vincent will uh, take out a small notebook and flip it open and steal his fucking pen back from Grimm. And uh, write down the uh, the bar's name and uh, where it's at. Can we have a name for the bar? I don't think we were ever told the bar. Days. No, we weren't. We're just, we just call it the bar. I called it speakeasy, but that's just a... Yeah, that's still name for a bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do we call it the Cowboy la Rabbit no. Robot Lounge? No, it's not our bar. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's a mobile decision. We just, we just frequent there and somehow still are allowed to stay. The Copper Court. Yes. Yeah, name like after what's her face. <laughs> All right. Bod, if you want to roll me a survival. Oh, sure. Oh, God. Do I have, a, do I have any advantage because I've been traveling through these sewers or... Sure. Okay. I drew an arrow. <laughs> 17. Weirdly enough, you uh, figure out where they are. Okay. Uh, so as you can, can kind of see... Bot has appeared, but he's only at the far off end by a uh, trash dump as he kicks open the uh, manhole. Mm. And unfortunately, I, I, I never caught your name, miss. Severance. Severance. You may call me, uh, I'm Vincent Madrin. Okay, Vincent. See you in three days. Enjoy the rest of your night. Please tell me bot's gonna go through bot, the window. Bot, the fucking window, bot. The window, bot. No! <laughs> oh god, Q just sees bot's ahead. Just... Bot just waves. You just... Oh god, I don't want to make a notion. Q's eyes move slowly to the left, like, looking like, please go the other way. Grim turns and does a finger gun to bot. Take the door. Not the window. <laughs> bot looks at the... Oh, wait. Push How... his head. Please tell me a he did bit. not just come out from swimming. Can we please still cause the bar fight? I just want to see what happens. That's totally up to you, but uh, Grim never really... Oh, no. Stop asked, the fight. We never really ask about each other's contacts, but please tell me you know somebody fucking important. You guys can roll me a perception if you want. I also do know a magic Actually place. throwing this party. Perception... As cute as well, that passive, said a one. But my passive is a twenty. <laughs> Just do fucking better. <laughs> ha, fuck you. This oh, guy she walks up to. Yeah, you'd think they were dating. By the way, well, she's what, kind of like playing him. Uh, what as, language are they? We both we both have it, so we can both read lips. Oh, oh what? renamed you it have... vigilant. <laughs> oh, she's uh, <laughs> talking about going back to her place after the show, and he's just dumbly like, "Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a great idea." Yeah, now Vincent, Q, that... stalk stalk her back to her place. That note that she got um, had um, can bring three guests. I mean, at the very least, considering what she's about to do, we might want to ruin her night and expedite the process. Yep. Yeah. Stalk her back to her place. Me and 
bot will sit, sit here and drink for a bit. All right. Where is that man. damn otter? I have Speaking a. Bot, I think he will stop by the doorway by the bouncer because of uh, how he smells. Oh God. <laughs> well, that's happening, and our friendly neighborhood otter is about to do some. I'm gonna do this, at least under the table. It's, it's by the way I kind of have it projected is a, um, like my metal filings, just basically making a hand. I want to try to knock over this gentleman's drink into his lap or the other one's lap. I don't know what you want me to roll. Because it's not like an attack roll, and it, the hand can technically do that unless the glass weighs more than ten pounds. Essentially, I just want a car as a bar fight with no one knowing where the fuck it happened from, considering how fucking many people are here. Well, I'm gonna tell you, a drink falling into a lap isn't necessarily. Oh, I know. Lap. I want it more like hit to be dumped on him, Ed, because I didn't know how drunk the people at the bar were, if they were, like, looking for an excuse to brawl kind of thing. Alright. Uh, roll me a D100. Oh, boy! My favorite! I love these! Uh, Google, just let me know if the bouncer stops uh, bot from entering or not. Depends how bad does bot smell. <laughs> bot cleaned himself up nicely. Even uh, Miss Penny kind of gave him a quick uh, clean over. The most he probably smells is probably of uh, at least a few hours of uh, heavy sweat. If otter sweat. Okay. Yeah, he'll let you in. Bot appreciates you. <laughs> what? On. Joins group. Just about the time that, yes, a small fight does break out between this guy and the one that would be taking up the bar here. Uh, I do revel in the chaos a bit. Bot join. If you want to create more chaos and get us get yourself kicked out of the bar immediately, go right ahead. Can we fucking nah, go? Let, let, him, let him fight it out. Trying to expedite. Actually, person to leave early. Oh Make no! Q, let's Look not the... expedite anything. Our fourth guest just joined us. We're obviously going to at least one drink together. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> oh no! Please tell me, fucking oh, <laughs> that's it. A bouncer. <laughs> you guys could realize that Obviously, maybe that the bartender's got a few little some might have something to <laughs> alert because the, the fight's about to go and a few thro fists are thrown but uh yeah that bouncer was on it mm -hmm. good response There's time fucking answer. that bartender has eyes of a hawk Batter just has a pension for not letting people fight in their bar. It's a classy like, establishment. But confused. Bartender there. No? Yes. Then Bob points to the guy that just left. So, is he not a bouncer? No, that, the guy at the door is a bouncer. Yeah, the guy at the door They're is just, a bouncer. They're uh, just a token for a bartender. They're just the local... <laughs> Local ruffians bought the men in the suits. Bought creating a device that lets you inform another of anything is minuscule at this point. I can do it in my fucking sleep. There's a couple of jobs I've given him to you. Boys, I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna but, but okay. order a drink and try to lift this guy's ID, I guess? <laughs> okay, I need a sleight of hand. Yeah, of course. Oh, 
All right. <sighs> I had one. That's not good. I had one more level. I could make that so much better. <laughs> uh, we're, we're cool anyway. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Want flash of genius so bad. You go to take his wallet and you realize Severance is staring dead at you and her hand just kind of digs nail her fingernails into your hand. He does, the, the, guy, the guy that she's yeah like, going on the tie he, 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 and everything, he has no idea what the fuck's going on, but she is on you. All right. I'm gonna tell her maybe it's time we we tell you what's really going on. Oh no, we're gonna fucking get shot because this man's an idiot. I'm not taking a bullet from <laughs> cash for visibility and but, get uh, out of here. Uh yeah, so as that's happening, Bob will also look over to Vincent. Oh yes, spoke to water hose. Right. And uh, I'm going to, like, give her a head gesture that I'm walking over here. And, uh, Fowl at, uh, second and east. East. Heat. On stair lot. Alright, did she, did the, uh, O's tell you anything about him? Lives there. Wants him gone too. No. Nope. Sounds easy enough. The information about what he looks like, about his personality, nothing, just second and east. Obvious. Looks. That sounds so nondescript that you might have just. He's wearing a fucking black like hoodie. You guys can roll me a history. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's wearing a fucking black hoodie. Oh, is that kind of drug pusher? I don't know. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> the fabled <laughs> zero. <laughs> it happened. And it wasn't me. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen... I got negative one of your toes, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Jesus. That's the first time I've seen a zero too, I think. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. You should see the negatives. I I, I right. have. Vincent, this is because of your upbringing. Second and East is not necessarily a great part of town. Oh yeah, that that I totally figured. So you 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 figure that from your knowledge, if a drug dealer is down there, he probably stands out just a little bit because he doesn't give a shit because there ain't no cops going to that part of town. Right. Unless something major is yeah. going on. Well, there's one thing that we're going to not have to worry about. It's law enforcement interfering. And we have to worry about that to begin with anyway. Yes. Yes, we do. On a constant basis. <laughs> Just shrugs. So hard to tell Q that we're criminals without telling him we're criminals in a packed bar. <laughs> Bob continues, uh, he looks <laughs> around. Are there any, uh, snacks on the table? No. I think Q just doesn't care. <laughs> no, there's no snacks on the table. Huh? There's no snacks on that table, on your table. Bob looks around. Looks at Vincent, looks at Q, looks back to Vincent. No snacks. But there's no food at this bar. This is just a bar for entertainment. This is crappy bar. No snacks? We'll get you a taco at a stand later. Okay. But Grim also, just walks off with... I believe oh, we should not, probably no, make... Wrong name. Okay, did I write it down this time? I didn't. Fuck. The sever. Severance. Severance. Ah, yes. That's. Should we make our way out of here? I did write it down. 
I just thought severance was the actual word severance, and I did not understand what it meant. I've, I have a feeling Grim probably also, fucked up, so we should probably start heading towards the door. That's, I mean, we're at okay. the door. It's fine. Let's make sure Grim gets out of his situation first. Oh, yes. Vincent. All right. All right. Vincent. One second. Yep. <laughs> All right. You like money, Gorgeous? Yeah. How close are you with Sharice? Oh, 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 we're fucked. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. If I'm watching this and I see that, I'm gonna go, Q, he said something stupid. Go get him. <laughs> Butler mode. Correct. Well, as a bonus action. Whichever mode you have, go fucking get him. There's this terrible thing where, you know, as you said, she's hot. And uh, now she's drop dead freaking hot. <laughs> As she oh. just tells you. So, yeah. Command has been called. <laughs> uh, we're fucked. We should leave. I think we're just... So I need a wisdom saving throw. We need the fucking yep. cowboy. Do we really? We DC is 15. Do. He's useful. She just says name. Grim. It's gonna be an asshole to say his name. None of us are using our real names. <laughs> true. There's no way you can ask for but a you, true name. But you can call me the man that laughs at your spells. Mm. And don't get me wrong, I see you're getting a little hot around the collar there. I'm not trying to pry into your business. I'm trying to take over the Hurt security contract. We're actually private security sector. I mean, the... The rabbit might not look like much, but you should see that otter when he gets mad. We do a damn good job. I'm gonna need a deception. Yep. Oh my god. Thank god. Fuck you! So, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a fucking 30. <laughs> and a 6. The deficit. Oh my god. I, I beat you by 24. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, you can't move it above a 30. And I may or may not have all some right. information of some men trying to break in and steal all she's worth. My fucking God. I need to get close to her. Oh, my God. Well, this could work. What is all right. Saying? So how do you figure that I... He says we're trying Charlie. to take over her security contract. And uh, when... Vincent is talking. He's got his hand over his mouth. Well, I think you can bring me an audience with her. I hear you guys are uh, fit as a fiddle. See what I can do. And just so we're not in bad graces, I'm going to uh, slide her like a hundred gold. She takes it money talks. She takes it without even breaking eye contact with you. Sorry for uh, no. trying to rob your boyfriend there. She's trying to get closer to uh, you. Didn't want to 
your uh, feathers to get all ruffled. No, but he's actually working his magic. She just turns and walks away. Oh, and oh, I guess I will hit her with another one of these and just give her like a when um when you got me when you when you're able to grant me the audience come to the come to the bar the address that you got it is real why is that man on our table there we go <laughs> all right gentlemen we can leave but i still have to throw a fucking party does that mean we have to get no. supplies the parties the party is does not exist anymore Shit, i like throwing parties we're going into the private security sector, boys. We're going to fucking die. Ooh. Ooh. Snacks? Uh, you and, are aware and Vincent is like, got his thumb on his chin and his hand over his mouth. Boys, you do know a lot of people have skills like we do, right? Especially in taverns like this. Well aware. You don't have a mouth. Well, let's make like... You. Let's yeah, make like I rabbits and they run. Oh, they literally can't work on me. <laughs> Because you technically need lips Let's... to read by it. No, make sure we, we still have a part to play here, and you have half a drink, and Bot has half a glass left. Literally, he ate part of it. <laughs> you just hear the sound of crunching glass. Are we going to have to pay extra for that? Probably. And Grim, pretty sure you get spells. I get spells? You're a bard. I was going to say, yeah. you should have some. You should have more I than didn't two take strike it. and message. I didn't take any spells. Bro! <laughs> I guess I you so should have a so many spells! <laughs> you're playing a <laughs> role with Bard playing as a on top. <laughs> okay, I'll start loading. I'll start loading those in. He's been playing a rogue this entire time. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> oh my god. I was I wondering so, why yeah. you weren't yeah. casting spells in the combat. Because you didn't fucking have any! <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any. <laughs> That'll probably be an after. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. I do worry about the private security sector, considering... Oh, it's been a minute since... I'll drop some paperwork. Name. It's fine. As long as no, I know. I'm not worried about... I'm not worried about that. Apparently, that's where... Have you ever heard of the individual known as Zed? Or Z for some people. Have I? Uh, Warforge, it's up to you. Uh, I'm asking Moogle. That's up to you. How much do you hang out with Warforges? Or now Warforge. Or no, uh, the, uh, I mean, difference. probably quite a bit because Vincent probably makes a decent chunk of change just by rip doing like going to each town they go into and doing repairs. Okay, I'll say you might have some information. I mean, I've heard the letter before. Well, Zed, or Z, was the best hunter bot that came out before the war ended and then eventually started their own business, security. And part of me is hoping we don't get involved, considering that's my quarry currently. Oh, cute. We're getting directly involved. Why do you not want to get involved I... with your quarry? We're quarrying. I wished, we're fighting over a I wish, contract. Good way to get a certain final letter of the alphabet erased. Personally, I wanted to hand it a bit more tactful than just becoming working under them. Oh. Uh, oh my god. I do know spells. What? Oh. Um, <laughs> Q, do you think I work under anyone? Well, I have a question to ask. Sure. Considering that the woman is passing by, and that's obviously the target, can Bot manage to at least memorize her scent? You get yeah, I, don't know what... sniff. I don't know what to have you rolled a sniff. I guess for uh, survival, I'm guessing. Either Just perception or survival or history. Yeah, either perception or survival. I'll take the survival. Just in case Bot needs to track her down or something. All right, here we go. Also, 15. Uh, 
Do you did you make a token of that image I sent you for Zed or Z Moogle? Not yet. Okay. I can if you want me to real quick. Yeah, just so I could probably make a mental image so the other party know what the fuck we're going to be looking at once we get find Zed. I think Q, I'm, first off, never seen this worried about an individual before. When we go for the contracts, would you like to just be on a nearby rooftop or something? They yes. know you? Considering I'm the only quarry that he's never killed? Yeah. Kind of hard to forget. You have a man after you? Now that's interesting. But, well, as right. uh, he, Vincent stands up from the bar, man, if this place served food, we'd probably stay longer. I'm fucking starving. How about you, boys? <laughs> as he's already chilling down on the uh, st on the uh, the stem piece of the cup. I don't Blast. eat, but I can definitely go for something else. Shut up, Q. As Q also stands up. <laughs> what? Shut up, Q. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually see like happiness and hope in bot's eyes when you mentioned food. All right, so you want me to show everybody? Yeah, just so they know what the fuck we're dealing with. Since he's prob, since I guess now we've canonized him of like having his own private security company. Oh, that's, that's fucking hunting... awesome. <laughs> that's Ooh. who hun hunting Q and owns a private security company. <laughs> mm. I, think, I bet he has a better cowboy accent than fucking Grim does. <laughs> watch, your, watch your tongue there, rabbit. He'll, he'll give you either the quick way. smirk. But either way, if we see that individual, I'd like to make myself scarce, considering he could pinpoint. If he still has his hunter protocol active, then he should be able to hunt me down relatively easily and pick me out. And I'd rather not die immediately. Oh, you won't die. Bottle grease him first. No, let's go. I'm hungry. As he's kind of looking around the bar, see that, like, a lot of the suits are gone, and he's getting more and more nervous that they're congruing in one place. Yeah, I guess we'll head out. Alright. Bot just walks out. Still with I'm a heading out too. half shoot up glass uh, in his hand. Presents it to the bouncer. Not truly enough. So after buying drinks for everybody, the waitress and the and uh, why do I keep forgetting severance? Severance. How much? How much would I owe? Yeah, about twenty-five silver. Uh, Vincent will leave four gold on the table. Nice... Glass okay, I have spells now. And have a pleasant and merry day yourself, good sir. As <laughs> Q just walks out the door and does like a little bell. <laughs> I think P I'm pretty sure most of the party has seen Q's butler mode. <laughs> I love butler mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time Q isn't fucking cold. Bot looks at Q. You talk funny. But I don't understand why. Well, considering I've helped Vincent with a few things here and there, it's just to look like a butler since some of my kind became ah, subservient. Ah, 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 but <laughs> if Q had eyes, he would have. They would have rolled them. All right. So where are you guys headed? I guess to the drug pusher. Back in the east. All right. We're going to have to find exits to the buildings. The question is, are you going to come in from back alley or down the main road? Bob's going back alley. I was going to say, it'd probably be smarter to go back alley. Only because Bob right. still very noticeably flinches when he hears the sirens. Grim, you're still working on, on the drug act. Oh, I got it down. I'll go front. Roll me a d10 then, just for the hell of it. You're playing, okay. you're playing frontman on this, but remember, I want his fucking blood. 
and Vincent will duck into a back alley. And you guys will hear the... Oh. Like, Vincent, just remembered. Waterhole said that the frog is very slippery. He's a runner. So yes. Vincent in the corner, as from the alley, you just see the glowing eyes of the black rabbit. So, okay for a bot to grab and hold. As long as I get to kill him. Okay. But will attempt to be. Oh, I said that wrong, sorry. As long as I get to kill him. Okay. But try to be gentle. I saw the ping. Am I inside something? <laughs> Yes, you are. Am I supposed to be inside something? Does your black does your black rabbit not have vision or something? No, I just threw my tokens down where I saw the ping. Here, I'll just switch it. There we go. Oh, no, yeah, black rabbit does not have visual. That's fine because I still need Vincent for the health bar and everything. So he has dark vision, doesn't he? Yes. Do we come back in? So I told the bikes to come back in. So, go time, boys. We're waiting. We have to find Talk him first. Well, you guys are all there, so. This is why I want Excuse voice me. Mom. Honestly, same. Especially because they can. I don't have like I I usually have like an empty can I can talk into, but uh, I am going to go uh, use the second level spell slot to go invisible. That's the wrong page. I brought up OPS thinking it was my character sheet. Oh, we do. Is on our that's a good one. Damn, really wish I could find some drugs around here. Oh, fuck it, really? You hear out of the window. Me too, buddy! <laughs> Amen, brother. Yeah, sure, we should have Actually, we come on down. Come on down, guy from the window. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Mughal, can you send the Vincent token to back for me? Uh, too back. There we go. Now I see the black rabbit. Now I can grab them both. Uh, given the black, I guess the black rabbit didn't have vision, so or have you connected to it? So that. Oh, uh, can he see now? Oh, he can see now. Cool. I'll just go. I'll just leave Vincent down in this corner then. Damn, these alleys are dark. Of course. Just like home. All dark? Where are you from, Pot? Q, yes. fucking move. Then Bob points to the ground. <laughs> Sorry. Home. Sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. The streets. Yes. I don't miss the siren going off. Well, any idea where to... Uh... Where to look there? Black rabbit? Black rabbit. You can't see me. I'm <laughs> invisible. Oh, okay. That's why the eyes <laughs> Never mind. Leave. Yep. Bot, Bot just goes, uh... Bot remembers calling cat the... I don't think that works on people. No? It's well, it's worth a shot. Like, what? What? Yeah, like, a drug <laughs> addict can back in a trash can. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> the fuck you say about my mom? <laughs> Holy shit, there's a giant otter. Wow, I am body, body immediately grabs a drug addict. <laughs> immediately grabs them. And we're big. You. Yeah. Me? Dealer. We need... We're dealer. We need, yeah, we need, we're looking for a fix. Do you know where, where we can find it? He needs oh. fix. Just out on the street, man. I think. Where am I? Hmm. Bot, shakes him a little bot, bit. 
Bot, put that man back into the trash can. Thank God. Yeah, he's down the street, man. Second and east. Yep. Bot, put that drug addict back in that trash can where you found him, please. (laughs) That just puts him upside down. You're going to catch something touching those men. Man, that's the last time I do skooma. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. (laughs) Skooma. Don't look at me, I don't do that kind of stuff. Not a lot of drugs, sadly, for War Fortress. No. Oh god, I just fucking hear the radio and that just made me think of Alistair for a minute. <laughs> Bot steps out. Looks at the streets. Just as a warning, all the cans and trash and stuff is in the way of oh, okay, his difficult okay. terrain. Hmm. Uh. Did we lose our cowboy? No point in finding fixer if the one that needs fixing needs not be here. Yeah, yeah, I did see. I, I, I did see, see we, him. We have Strahd Streets Edition. I'm just we trying got, to. <laughs> we, we got Shadowrun version of Straw. Pretty much. This is the straw that runs these streets. Boys, <laughs> I am the streets. I am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Batman. Do I, when I feel the whoosh go past, can I just like assume that I know what what's going on here? Oh fuck, I'm muted. As you as you like pass that intersection, your collar gets grabbed. You get thrown this way. Hey, I got eyes on him. Careful defense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you. that's you, Rabbit. Where oh, was he? Moving around, making the uh, noise. Wait. Completely ignoring this guy over here at the moment. More tabaxi are now coming to bot. It is weird. <laughs> right. You're fucking kidding me. Now, now's the time. Are you guys? Are you guys try? How are you guys doing? Oh, we're good. Yeah, we we. Yeah, I think they're. Excuse uh... me, sir. What the whole shit? Yeah. What you want? Uh, looking for something to uh, get my mind right, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. What you looking for? So, uh, what's your strongest? I'm trying to forget some things. Well, I got this stuff they call skooma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let me let me see that. What about Endry Rainbow? And as he holds, as he holds out his hand, Endry Rainbow isn't a drug; it's a war crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I mean, hey, I didn't say what specific drug the. Uh... The guy was making in my backstory. All right, for for a reason. Sleep, sleepy time. Uh, if he's what I think it is, that probably will work. Won't work. Well, if, uh, a lot of things are elf. immune to sleep, especially elves. Yeah, elves like an elf. Yeah, elves are. Yeah, I mean Damn. he's not. He's not immune to being put to sleep with a crowbar to the face. <laughs> Still my favorite fucking clip. Yeah, so I'm going to say that you know that elves can't put to sleep. Magically. Okay. Okay. Bob looks at this guy. Well, sir, I know that elves can't be put to sleep magically. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, what? Well, but... <laughs> Is he about to fucking just fucking hit him with a crowbar? And uh... Oh, no. Oh, that's even funnier. <laughs> Oh, well, Bob Bob just interrupt for a brief moment and just says, You, what your name? You deal? 
Yeah, I got a deal, man. What are you saying here? Will you, though? Can you just mean... Oh, fuck. Can we just assume Cube went to grab the rifle, or did I not grab my rifle? Because I technically left it back at the bar. Oh, I th oh, might have been you, muted, too. but I, de I, I said I would put your... Uh, oh, okay, then. I, I have a bag of holding, technically, which is my briefcase. Then, yeah, I'll just say I'd put it in there. I, yeah. Okay, what's your command? Uh, name. Jared Frown. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, well, man. Frog? Yeah, I'm Jared. What, 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 man, what the fuck's with the otter? Uh, I think you're tripping. I don't see an otter. <laughs> <laughs> deception deception <laughs> oh my god that's so freak him out good. no okay well oh, we can't roll below at 21 either way oh yeah oh, yeah it's like is it just yeah what what otter man i don't i don't i don't see no otter i think those drugs are getting to your head fucking god so is this what it's like get it playing against casper Yes, it's awful. <laughs> but this goes with yes. I am author of Christmas Past. Hey, fucking god! Author of Christmas Past. At that point, he kind of bit spooked, so he's gonna run. Well, which way to go? I'm going to wait, wait, him. wait! Hold on, before he runs. Uh, I want to grab him. <laughs> You didn't go to the fucking to alley? Damn it! Can we can we do a bullet time quick thing real quick since it's quite literally or no? Actually, he would go down that alley, wouldn't he? Which is why he yeah, stayed here! I, pro <laughs> <laughs> I am the honor of Christmas past. God damn it, Miser. Can I yeah. attempt to make an attack of opportunity on him? I guess yeah. both, both the party members can that are there. Okay, I'm going to Reckless, because I want advantage. This is going to be non-lethal, just in case I hit him a little too hard. And with it, I'm going to use that to grapple him. Which, okay. unfortunately, he did not rage, so he will not have advantage on that. I guess do the right... The... <laughs> He, he okay. He's grappled. He's just being bear hugged by this giant otter. We're gonna introduce you to a little friend of ours. Bot, bring him into the alley. Okay. This is gonna be the most painful uh, dragging because Bot will now rage. I'll just ping it for the bonus action. I'm pretty sure Q is still gonna shoot him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or at the very least, his kneecaps, like, non-lethally. I'm not trying to kill him, but it's definitely going to hurt. So, the guy is just very uncomfortable, very prickly in these as the fur is just dragging him in. He's grappled. You have advantage. Yeah. Do I, I get advantage? No, 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 no. He's referring to me, because I took a shot. Yeah. Uh, grappled targets you get advantage against. Do you? I think. I knew it was... I knew it was melee. I didn't know. It was I don't. Rain. To be honest, uh, that is a good question. I don't think grappled gives you advantage. That no, it's though. restrained. That's what it. Okay. Well, I guess I miss. Unless his AC is higher than fifteen. Uh, no, it, it isn't. Okay. Well, then I'm just aiming for like his kneecap to shatter it, so he can't really run. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill him with it. I'm just gonna. Fuck. Stand here. <laughs> I will move over, and as Bot is holding him there, I get like literally in the corner, against a fence. Just the eyes oh. of the black rabbit show through the invisibility. Bot Bot has him in a bear hug, and he looks very uncomfortable as Bot's fur is now all prickly and spiky. So he's not having a he's not having a good time.
What the fuck is this about? Where do you oh, get your need. supply? Uh, I, 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 I can't tell you that, man. All right, cool. Bob looks at, uh, looks down on this guy. Punch him in the face and reveal my invisibility. You should have just told the rabbit where you got your drugs. I grab his possibly dislocated jaw and just slam it up. Where do you get your supply? From Vinny, man. You know, the Lorenzo brothers ain't gonna look good on this. You go after him. The, the eyes of the mask glow a deep red. Understood. Unfortunately, the head will turn up to Bot, and to Q, and to Vincent. Tonight was your last night selling. What the hell does that mean? Grease time? Grease him. So, uh... Should we just roll initiative? I don't know how long no. it's gonna last. I will just say this. The horrible fact is that Bot's spiky fur gets very much spikes because that's how he's keeping his rage. He is still damaging the poor guy. And while he's living, he'll take out the stencil, slap it on his chest, and spray paint the black rabbit. A symbol he should know by now. I guess because technically I have the uh, close shooter. It's just Q basically beating the man with the rip butt of his gun so he doesn't. they don't have to waste ammo. But, Grim's just standing up against the wall smoking, watching it. It's just the horrible fact that, well, as you know, those really hard uh, brush combs that are almost like spikes themselves, and if you scrub somebody with sandpaper, they start to peel away. That's exactly how Bot is greasing this guy. That's fine. Q's just gonna probably, like, Brutalize whatever's left of the body. Yeah, it doesn't take long. He's uh, doesn't have that many hit points, to be honest. Was just a drug dealer. Yep. Uh, I'll just do a strength to see just how hard. Uh, well, he is raging, so he's gonna go extra hard on this. Yeah, you broke his yep. back before he. <laughs> Crushed a few ribs, broke his back. Yeah. Then and Bot just rubs the guy's skull or head into his uh, spiky fur until there's nothing more but a bare skull showing. Yeah, and uh, while uh, there, while the paint is still drying, he'll take his finger and just draw a V into the black rabbit's paint. Okay. Should not be worried about that. Don't forget to grab all those drugs, put them down a sewer or something. Boss, Actually, I wait. Hey, no guy. I have a better idea. And he takes, like, I, I take everything I can and just jam it into his the corpse's mouth. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Considering there isn't much of a job yeah. muscle life. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, he sure. will, uh, once again, make a display full view as as the black rabbit walks out into the... Is there, like, any abandoned cars or just, like, cars in the street or anything? There's like, dumpsters, abandoned cars, yeah. Yeah, just, just something where it'd be, like, in full view for all the druggies. Yeah. And he will, again, make another display. I guess Bot follows with the corpse. Yeah, I couldn't bring it, but yeah, I would have I would have picked the corpse up if I needed to. Oh no, Bot is still gnawing on the skull or the top of the head of the skull. Bot, the thing's full of drugs now. I wouldn't. You oh. Also, you know, writing a V on his chest remind me. I do know a magic person by the name of V. Old. No. I put the body down. This is a signal for Vinny Lorenzo. 
He'll know if he gets wired. Now oh, come on. Bot's obviously even hungrier. Mm. My job's done. I'll go meet my contact later. Icy flavor. Oh my god. <laughs> you just hear Arm, back to the, the bar, boys. You beings in your need to eat constantly. I'll meet you three there. Oh. Vincent. Vincent. If the black rabbit doesn't acknowledge you. <laughs> <laughs> rabbit you gotta call you gotta call him the, the black rabbit the head will like it, it's that indignant like fucking what <laughs> kind of kind of head tilt like god damn it <laughs> bod bod is for you see water hose just you though all right Go now. No, I'm going to go meet my contact. See if she's done with those scrolls. My portion of our arrangement is done. Go with? No. She only knows the black okay. rabbit. She doesn't know you three. Okay. Bot just looks at the corpse, picks up the corpse by the ankle, and then just slams onto the top of the dumpster. Cover. What? Okay. As cute as uh, been there, bleh, 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 as bot saying that. What? Do you not trust me enough that you can vouch for myself or Grim? He's cautious, especially with men. Good, because I'm new. Oh no 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 no! That was to bot, yeah, as, because oh. he said he only had. Yeah yeah. yeah. Bot pauses, looks up, thinks about it. Points to Grim. Too horny. That's yes, man. Points to uh Q. Might rust. Do you know that most of us was were built to stay in the rain for long oh. periods of time? Not water. Let's just keep our contacts our contacts for now. The, the black rabbit makes a show of just standing there in the dark alley uh, and just watching the watching the corpse as uh, I'm sure there's druggies in the windows. That's a back. So he comes out of the alleyway. Holy shit, man. There's a black rabbit now seeing shit. Hey, anybody got some skooma? He'll point into the mouth of Vincent and he will use his uh, bunny ability. I always forget what it's called. Uh, rabbit hop. And I will just hop onto the roof and uh, make my way over to the red light district. All right. So fun playing a talker with zero charisma. <laughs> and as per usual, I will just hop off a nearby roof and land near her. How's business? A lot better since certain people aren't in the picture. Good. Well, as it happens, certain Jared has also met the same fate tonight.
Well, that's good to hear. You know how to pull my string. So. What about my end of the deal? Yeah, I got him. One disintegrate spell, one pass spell. What so I should it? warn you, depending on what you're going after, to make sure that its magical defenses are down. It'd be terrible for you to cast this in an anti-magic zone, wouldn't it? I will make sure. Send a message if you need any other trash cleaned up. Well, actually, I was going to ask you something since you're so quick. I am a rabbit. As she motioned behind her in the van. I was wondering if you wanted a time with one of my girls. Oh, my God. Cute way of trying to get me out of my armor. Can't blame a girl for trying. I cannot. He'll... Look, uh, he'll... De the, the eyes will focus on the... Little fox. The... What... What... Oh, she, what she's I a... She's a herring gun. Uh, he will kind of look at her. He's the best one for you. He'll make sure you're taken care of. And as soon as you get your life together, get out of this life. Just smiles at you, nods. Well, as Silky continues, do you need anything else? Know where I'll be. You know me. I always need something. You've got a quick mind. You can think of anything. Is, is she magical? In, yeah, she's obviously magical in nature. Message me. Yeah. You got it. I'll be here that night. I'm sure I'll need more. Not going to be the easiest job I've ever done. Yeah, and then he looks at her. Don't sell to the Lorenzos anymore. Oh, I haven't in a long. I feel like they're going to be coming to a collapse soon. And it's it's very rare he uses this, but LEDs come across the lip line into a smile. <laughs> Well, that could have gone without being, but... You're the most typed-lipped person I know. In my line of work, it has help. And uh, with that, as he does, he will just walk into the shadows and 
disappear. You will hear the hydraulic press of the rabbit hop as he hops onto the roof. Okay. And he is and back to the bar. Uh two like two or three streets down he will take off the armor and just casually stroll back to the bar as Vincent. Alright. So I imagine the other three make it back first. Yep. And Bot is just resuming his snacking on whatever food or things he can get his hands on. I'm going to throw myself in the corner just so see. <laughs> we did good tonight, boys. No, we didn't do good. good. We did well. If we were doing good, good then tasty. <sighs> well, at least we got a new plan to go about this whole heist. Not necessarily a fan of it, but if we can take down Zed and his whole operation, then fine by. Kill multiple birds with a few stones. What? Yeah. We're not thieves anymore. We're private contractors. Security detail. There's just a slow blink of both eyes. Switch of the whiskers. I'm going to roll this for comedy relief. This was not an advantage. So that was an eight. private yeah we're private and then our takes all those other private sessions yes and then Grim puts his finger to his lips private okay I feel, I feel like I'm stuck between two idiots <laughs> I hope Vincent gets back soon <laughs> But not do complex things too much. Brain hurts. That's okay, Bot. Get this man some pretzels. We're actually out of pretzels. We only have snacking peanuts now. Which he's already working on. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of pretzels, like, and she hasn't gone shopping yet for supplies. Does this city have Uber Eats? We gotta get this man some food. <laughs> Goblins, Goblin home? Eats? It's actually got Gordash. Oh yeah. god, that's so good. <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> gotta order some Gordash. Oh man, Gormac. Uh, my favorite. One of my favorite NPCs. For that, one. that wasn't even for that reason, but that's actually kind of funny. That was a yeah. nice deal. <laughs> That's that's why I understood it when you said that. Well, we'll wait for Vincent to get back. I'm gonna talk to you guys in the conference room. Okay. Boy. <laughs> I believe Vincent's not taking too long with his contact. Contact. Contract. More or less. Can Compact. Ask... That's the car out in the back. Hmm. Grease. Do you eat grease? Bob flicks on a piece of the uh whatever was left of uh Gerald the drug dealer off his spiky fur nibbles on it. He eats whatever's meat. Or peanuts or pretzels or yeah, anything that can anything. fit, I think. Now I might need to check on my magic on oh god I forget their name I think V was their original name but I think they go by something else now because if I do remember I did roll for a magic as well that I just haven't checked out yet 
Ah, that's a tomorrow problem. Bot just pulls out a cigar, lights it up by the candle, starts puffing on it really hard. Another whiskey, darling. Where is that rabbit? Always oh, not. That time you probably arrive. Want. Is it BRB? Am I here yet? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. My brain shut down for like four seconds there, and apparently that was exactly when I was introduced again. <laughs> So the, the door will open and you guys will hear the uh, usual two steps and a cane. Without looking away from his drink, he just talks to out loud. You contact happy? Very. Neil, like, he'll open up the briefcase and hold up two scrolls. Beautiful. And then he swings around. This would Let's go talk in the conference room. Everybody. Bot gets the uh, bowl of pistachios that are left. Starts making his way while still smoking. I feel like I'm going to get fucking shot today by my own people. <laughs> he just says to Vincent as he's walking through. <laughs> Only he has the gun. It's not what I Well, mean. gentlemen. It seems like we got a new way of going about this, if you're interested. Oh, that lovely little... I fucking heard. Yeah, that lovely little I've severance girl back. tried to work her magic on me. Didn't work, but I able to convince her that we're private security sectors. And we're going to be taking up the contract of Shreese. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never been in the situation where I am the security stopping... The robber, who happens to be me. But I think I put us in a comfortable little situation, if you guys are into it. Or we can go loud. I like this. I always like this other route. You know that. Well, what's more subtle than being the, man, being the men protecting the money that we're stealing? Problem is, we now need to convince the maiden of the house to... That we're not... As dubious as well, we usually are. See, that's where the black rabbit comes in. What the fuck? Nobody knows that you are the black rabbit. Yes, a key point of why I keep the black rabbit and myself separate. And he yeah. stares at Bot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, oh but we all have alter... Yeah. Another my dude, that is three today. You're going for the record, Debus set seven in one com in two rounds of combat. Fucking beat that! I I bet I dare <laughs> yeah, I dare all of you. Try to beat that. <laughs> one day maybe, but but we it's just blissfully oblivious. Unfortunately, <laughs> we get her all scared of the black rabbit, and she has no idea that the black rabbit's the one protecting her money. That's the whole point that we we're doing either way. So, this would help, actually. Well, you all get people that need to disappear from your contacts instead of paying them. We make them disappear. The Black Rabbit puts us. It, does Charlie start with an S or a C? A C. It is a C. With a big C. red C in their chest inside the Black Rabbit, which is a usual calling card for me, as you saw with the V tonight. And, she'll and then, start she's all scared. Rabbit. Yep, she's all scared, thinking a black rabbit's gonna come steal her. Or kill her. Little does she know, black rabbit's one of her private security members. <laughs> and he looks Perfect at heist. You. Welcome to why I have an alter ego. Kind of hard to hide a metal face. 
I can make masks. It's real fucking easy. Oh. Bot understands now. Bot sorry. I mean, you can kick people out there either way. <laughs> it's the perfect crime, really. We're protecting the money that we're going to steal. We get close enough, we're going to know the ins and outs of everything. At some point, though, and we're going to be doing this, we'll probably need at least some form of disguise that isn't my cloak. And not a mechanical bow tie either, as they slowly take it off and like just put it back in their side pocket. <laughs> like for, all I care, their we, for all I care, we can get bought to skin a whole man for you to wear, but this seems like the best route. No. No, but I can make him look like a different, more forged <coughs> unit. Pro just, Perfect. Just be careful, though. If there are other Warforged in the vicinity, especially Hunter, they might still be able to detect me through different means. Oh, that I'm so, sure about. Um, so just above table, Google. I don't know how you want to like make it work in game. But basically, there's like a sensor in most hunter bots that can kind of detect. Like, think of it more like an aura when uh, quarry mm -hmm. bots are near. Just above table. <laughs> Which is gonna suck for me, but makes sense. Okay. Bot go ask. Contacts. Compacts. Max. Yes, go just let your friends know who needs to disappear and ask for a price. Don't do it for free. Yeah, yeah, favors. This will let them know that you are connected to the Black Rabbit, though, so don't trust them fully. <laughs> don't do it. That's why I'll be parking my rear right in this bar. Oh, come on. Graham, I'm sure that you have a contact you don't trust fully. Nope. All my contacts are fixes. They'll open their mouth for any luxury they can get. I do have a magic individual that, as I said before, that they used to go by V, but I don't remember their name now. Bot well, you might want to let them know that the hit's not out on them. The problem with only Fair using enough. the first letter of the first name. Maybe I should start adding the. Last <laughs> yeah, you should start. <laughs> just you add, should just start. add a QR code for any War Forces scan. Oh fuck, it's not me. You should start <laughs> learning some family crests and tagging them up on bodies. You know how fucking difficult foes family crests are, right? I can't do that in a couple seconds. Also, I'm pretty sure the Lorenzo family crest is. Have you seen that thing? When I'm acting like alone, it's a little difficult to draw a family crest. Mm. The bot contacts be sworn oath loyalty. We start we'll sending a them message that the black rabbits against people. Things happen. He's working his way up the ladder. Oh, yes. Vinny Lorenzo is next. Especially because he shares my fucking fake name. Your fake name is Vinny? Vinny is a short term for Vincent. This is why I prefer letters. Quick, effective, oh. and easy. Yeah, but then there can only be 26 of you. I didn't say it was well. only, the, only the common alphabet. You know how many elfin and dwarfin letters there are? Yeah, no. Actually, I consider this. A... You don't, don't want to know. I don't speak elfin or dwarfin. <laughs> I speak goblin. Those aren't letters. Those are just <clears throat> gas of air coming out of their mouth. What? My teacher was a goblin. <laughs> well, I consider this a democracy, boys. So all in for the security detail heist. And it's oh, I'll be the there as weapon. well. I I I do um, like this angle. But, well, that's what I mean. I think I want to go. <coughs> Sorry, scope out the uh, 
the casino before we do anything. That's fine. God, do you have the first floor ready? Severance. I don't want to push the you. Casino floor? Yeah. Yeah, I have it ready. All right. Yeah. What about we do that tonight? Yeah, let's go. Okay. I could make some money too. God, somehow Bing Zed isn't there. Bot, Bot looks at himself for a brief moment, sees all the uh, little grime and viscera on him. Bot, clean up. Bot, you need to clean That's up. That's probably a good idea. I need to spray some more cologne. <laughs> it takes off cloak, puts on bow tie again. <laughs> Bob makes his way to the bathroom. I'll just uh, leave him here, though, in the corner. So. <laughs> <laughs> He tosses, right. Vince in his oh. he tosses Vince in his rifle. Oh, I do have one more cough drop. I picked up a cold this weekend. F. No worries, buddy. But yeah, he, uh... Q will throw you that rifle. And, uh, Vincent will... <laughs> it's so strange, but he puts it in the briefcase. Sometimes I wonder how the hell that works. Fucking Bob, well, magic, bitch. The, uh, well, it looks magic. like the dream. I'll sell out enough. Looks like the dreamers are going to the casino tonight. Ah, oh, hey, uh, Grim, you got. Uh, does Grim have like a full-sized revolver, or are they two derringers that he hides uh, in his shirt? They're two, they're two revolvers. We do, we. Not, I don't think we ever got around to the derringer thing. Grim, you might want to, uh, but, and he holds open the briefcase. Yeah. They're going to check you for weapons I'll for sure. What's toss man. Surprised I won't get pressed. Yeah. Get judged at the door, but. Make sure to take care of Mary Sue and Georgia for me. Absolutely. They've got their own little pocket. Don't worry. <laughs> Bot just calls out in the, in the bathroom as he's cleaning himself up. Bot needs new clothes. There is a bathroom right there. That he, you can go into. Te he's technically in there. He's just there for his stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. We can't see shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's as true. As the door closes, that's it. I, I, you only see Bot in the <laughs> It's It's kind of, of funny, to be honest. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, you just hear Bot in the bathroom of, uh, Bot need new clothes. Too much grease. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, so. you do, you know, I do know an orc tailor. Uh, I think it's on the way. You think they care if I just only have the bow tie? The Warforged. Don't need to go yeah, into butler mode, time. but you're definitely playing the part of my butler. You're not one of those special models. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I imagine the only thing Q has legitimately is just like a mag magnetic bow tie they picked up that they put on their hip, and then when it's time to like actually have a disguise, they take off the cloak, put it down, and like let's reattach it to like where a bow tie should be. <laughs> oh, Vincent absolutely <laughs> so just... just made that for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's like always on their thigh, and then they constantly move it up. Right. Let's uh, let's see if we can get. And he looks at uh, Grim and uh, Bot now. Bot with his bright red shirt instead of the uh, probably probably more of a pink. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go get you to a couple a couple of button downs first. Okay, as Bot comes out of the uh, bathroom, and you just see this big giant otter. Now that's a fine looking otter. At least throw your jacket on. Picks up his uh, <laughs> his still somewhat coated viscera. He did try to wash it, didn't really succeed. Puts it on. He turns around. Q, do you know prestidigitation? I'm a ranger. I'm not a wizard. Fuck, neither do I. Bot is ready. 
also hot. The most I could do is tat him down with my mage hand. Puts down the empty bowl of pistachio seeds. Did you just eat the shells? The seeds are where the food is. Bot pauses, looks at the... That's the part that tastes good! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it again. Did you Get just eat the crunchy yep. part? <laughs> yes, very crunchy. Well, I don't know if they okay. were in his mouth, but now you have pre-peeled pistachios. Register code and move out. <laughs> well... Let's hit the slots, boys. Yeah. Nope, we're hitting a Taylor first, and then we're hitting the slots. I'm sure they've got something both your sizes. I know a guy. And, well, uh, I don't change, Rabbit. You at least need a slightly less gray button down. I'll think about it. Let's get going. All right. Botany needs new digs. You guys make it to a tailor. Everything that way is pretty set up. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And Vincent uh, definitely fixed himself up all nice. Took probably way too long in the bathroom before you guys wanted to leave. Oh, God, she's back. She got promoted. <laughs> <laughs> no he actually, way. She actually works the night shift here, the day shift at the other bar. No, it's a bunny litter. <laughs> she has oh, like God. six duplets. That's her twin. Yeah. Ah, uh, the nurse Joy and Officer Jenny syndrome. I can only find one token for, you know. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Really? Cocktail weight. So. I was gonna say, I feel like I've there's seen more. that anime. I know there are more. There are more bunny girl anime girls. Yeah, I know. I just didn't want to go through that money. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Vincent will uh, definitely be kind of approaching first. It kind of splits off into you there. There's a oh, there's no desk. like. There's no receptionist. Chip check in. No. All right. Well, let's scout, boys. Bot do security. No, no, not yet, not yet, bot. No, boss, your security. You're a high, you're a high risk gambler. That's your role here. You, you're with me. Of course I am. Okay. Oh, God. Spot just follows I, I have found the other bunny girl. She has been promoted. Oh, fuck, she's hot. <laughs> Do we notice, is like, that, any of the people up, I'm for, assuming, at the for, higher <laughs> echelon of the table? This is a bar. So, okay. You definitely see the bartender. Uh, oh, I he love looks him. so happy to be here. He's handsome. The assistant, mm. which there's a lot of goblins. Yeah, I kind of noticed. Mm. Uh, you do notice this mountain of an orc. Uh, yeah. Uh, besides that, you don't. In the distance, you do notice Tabaxi. Oh, now she's back. Oh, no, she's colored. <laughs> oh, no, she's going to beat her ass. <laughs> Other than that, everybody looks kind of just like normal patrons or workers. Uh, We don't. The people that stand out a little bit, we wouldn't know them at all by name or like by face at all or no. Uh, by description and picture, you recognize this guy. He's the head of security. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna finger gun to um Vincent quick. If you get caught, 
or anybody sees you snooping around, just point them my way. You're doing the fucking same. Message back. Well, the idea is that we might be able to spin this as in we're here to check out their current security detail. Cover your See how it can be mouth. improved. Cover your fucking mouth when you talk. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cover my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You see that, like, whatever Vincent does message, he definitely is, like, itching his chin or his cheek or something. Mm -hmm. Like, he's definitely, like, definitely hiding when he's talking. Mm. Is there anything we should worry about? You? I think I need a drink. What about you? I'm not a fan. <laughs> Obviously. They just look at abuse. Oh, gorgeous. Any luck on the table tonight? <laughs> you say that to the backseat? Oh, yeah. I'll sit a couple seats down from the, uh, one or two, well, j just like one or two seats down from the other Harangon. Well, first of all, with, uh, Baxi, Sorry. she gives you a death stare that is just, you, you know you've crossed a line already. <laughs> My mistake, ma'am. Didn't mean to offend you. None take. Question stands. Any luck on the tables tonight? There are some wins and some losses. That is how it is. Oh, I know all about that. You from out of town, or are you staying here? I am from around, yes. Lovely. And might I ask your name? Morgana. Morgana de Mrizarine. Detective. Morgana. Lovely to meet you, Morgana. Name's Grim. Nice to meet you, as well. Good luck on the good luck on the tables tonight, ma'am. Walk away. Do you want me to put in the extra butler mode? It just kind of looks up. No, just be your shit. <laughs> no. Wow. Yeah, I totally just stole Grim. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. that happened. No, just be yourself. Okay. God. A bit less murdery, if you could. I could always do that one voice I was trying to perfect from that Warforged segment forever ago. I wanted to be a chef. Totally up to you, but tonight you're either butler or security. It's up to you. Security is more applicable. And be security. Let me see if I could do this voice because it's been a minute. <laughs> nah, I probably can't. Mm. It takes a lot. It really is a lot of a voice. <laughs> Hello. Wow. <laughs> no, it's it comes it comes from way deep, way deeper than you think it comes from. Hello. There we go. Closer. Yeah. I, I, add some br add some brightness to that, and you're good. Well, this is cute, so that's about what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am here, at least with my friend, on the, to make sure nothing happens to him tonight. Considering all this fun and party going, could you hand me one of your finest uh, murder oils that you have on tap, please? Whatever to the first part, but you ask your guy. 
This little goblin goes. And yeah, I, I gotta tell, he does not give a fuck. Vincent just cups the thunderstone that he has on top of his uh, on the top of his cane. <laughs> <laughs> What a fine and great establishment. I was quite curious, who was that fine bloke over there? As kind of points at the, not the orc, or not him, but the one that crossed the way. The greener one. <laughs> yeah. The one, the head of security. Uh, it's Shiv Shank, the head of security around here. Don't go pissing him off. Oh, Shiv Shank. You see, we were actually... Definitely don't plan on that. No, not in the slightest. We're actually in the private security business ourselves. Uh, meaning to actually have a meaningful conversation with the man. Kind of grump, bump elbows and grease everything, as they say. Thank God Bot isn't here to hear the fucking word grease. Well, I wouldn't piss him off, that's for sure. Ah. Uh. I'm, I have no intentions of pissing off someone of such high standards. Especially given his suit and tailor seem pristine and well made. Q just looks at him and I hate being a fucking big fan. <laughs> Don't mind. Right. Well. Just saying. Boss, they want to talk to you. Or he just kind of grunts before coming around. We're also Standing. having a groanie in the Warforge special. <laughs> Friend just ordered one anyway. Quite. And this mountain of an orc comes walking around and stands. To be honest, I was having a coughing fit and missed most of what Mariner was saying. Essentially, Mariner is like, we're the private security business, and we were interested in just bumping elbows with the boss. Which... Got it. <clears throat> yeah. And... Well, Vincent, uh, as he as he approaches, like as soon as he hits the corner of the table, Vincent will spin his chair and stand up and just sit there with his cane in front of him. <laughs> well, not, not sit, but stand, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just not going to move because they're kind of trying to impose this idea of that they're security, so they're only going to yeah, move when he, they have he's to. Gonna, he's going to wait for him to greet Vincent. I think he did a huff, and that was like his intro. Yeah, he's just staring daggers at you. <laughs> like, you want to talk? <laughs> he's uh, projecting that. He was still having a coughing fit. Did it come back? No, I'm good. Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon. Or is it evening or after- whatever? Good evening. 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 Vincent, at your service. And he'll hold a, he'll hold his hand for a shake. Shiv shank. Head of security. And he will, you are uh, exactly the man I was wanting to meet, and he will kind of like catch his cane with with his leg and just put his other hand over uh, Shipshank's hand as he shakes it in a very gracious manner. Hmm. Now, unfortunately, a little birdie has told me that a certain he'll kind of like look up. To gesture towards his ears. Rabbit has been setting signs against the Maitre D. What? Uh, it's not Maitre D because she's not a guy. What? Uh, matron. Yes. Yeah, matron. The the matron of uh, this gorgeous casino that you have. And he'll. Let go of his hand after that. Oh, what would Shipshank do? 
Oh god, is he dumb to think that it's, that we're threatening him? I hope not. Uh, he looks like a smart individual. He's an orc, though. That's what worries me. Orcs are... Worse. <laughs> <laughs> They're diverse enough. I guess, yeah. I know, too. He looks at you. <laughs> and how do you know that? Well, as, as it, um, Grim's gonna, because he's attacked me. Hi, Grim. <laughs> yes, one of my. I'm not shaking his hand. One of my employees, Grim the Kid. Because I survived that rabbit, and he told me himself that he's coming for you, this place specifically. Now, why would the rabbit tell some nobody that I don't even know about that? Grim is working on his historic past. And as we know, the rabbit is good at digging things up. Grudge holder and all, you know. Yeah, he came for me personally. Almost took my damn eye out. I'm gonna mage hand. Him. Just like fucking tap him on the shoulder, like stop. Does <laughs> Does Grim have any not notable scars that I would know of? Yep. Yes, he does. <laughs> any recent Where? ones? Um, I have a rope scar from my neck. Oh dear lord! That was. I'm gonna guess that was not very recent. No. Yeah, no, uh, recent. Like, something that happened in the last at least couple of weeks. Um, no. I have not taken a scratch in any of the fights we've had. You might, you might yeah, have but, better well, uh, I, g Give me, like, give me something from the last job. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, maybe like a, a stab wound on his shoulder. Uh, without your war without any warning, Vincent with his uh, pointed nails will kind of just like grab your shirt and pull it over. Just from a couple weeks ago, and he'll pu he'll pull it back. Poor boy got found in an alley. He roughed me up good. I want to make you roll me a deception, knowing that it's going to be <laughs> a level. Three. I mean, I, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> mm. ah! <laughs> all right. So you know what? Take mine. Give... No, I'm I'm That's helping good. with this one. Take mine. Isn't it still that he can only roll below or sixteen? No, one. Uh, it's up to. It's totally up to you. But I've always said ones are ones. <laughs> yeah. Skill checks I've always used differently. Yeah, it's it's totally up to you as the DM. But yeah, that still can't be below well, twenty one either way. So it's up to you. Yeah. Because I think that was the only way I could ever fail those kind of checks, especially because I had something. Similar I needed to, to make this kind you fail something. I was not good at rolling. <laughs> still, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you could do is still, like, give it to him, but still have him, like, be suspicious of us. Because yeah, it's not that's what I was way. thinking. No, no, he is fully suspicious of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his job. It's whether he believes that scar was from recent or not. Still, why did this... Rabbit... Send you instead of one of my boys. Oh, I apologize. What? No one sent us. We were hoping to add our services to. Well, we do have a bit of a grudge against the rabbit. Someone hurts one of mine, I get rather agitated, as you know, being an employee yourself. That way, 
think of it as a or sorry wrong coins think of it as a common shared goal where if the rabbit is trying to sniff us out then wouldn't it be better to lay traps for said rabbit since the easiest way to catch a rabbit is a trap he's working his way up the ladder and he and from what we hear does make this a, is the top of the ladder and he does make a bad name for all of us and he'll gesture to the two serving girls in the area and also the herring gun behind him we're just beating into I don't this like stuff. our <laughs> already besmirched race being besmirched anymore Hmm. You would have to talk to the boss. Well, we are hoping to that's get, something we can do. We are hoping to get an audience with her, but I don't know if you would like a show of skill or what you would like. But you seem to be the perfect gentleman to talk to first. And also... Um, using my observant feet, is there any, like, exact current spots that don't have vision from his guards? My investigation passive is a 23. From where you're sitting at, not particularly. It already seems like your guards do a very good job. Yes. We would not like to they impose are. on you. I promise you that. But any assistance, especially against the Black Rabbit, as you know his... We're hoping to parlay with the boss. We're not looking mm. to scam, we're just looking to vengeance of our own. Under your watchful eye, of course. Let me talk to the boss. See what she says. Good. After this? Let her know that... Let her know Severance knows about me. When you say that, his eyes narrow hard. He stares right at you, Grim. I'll let the boss know. Is he out of earshot, or is he kind of static? Oh, yeah, he's person? moving off. Well, thank okay. you. You watch him go off to the elevators. Sawbone is just in the mouth going like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and as soon Someone as he's gone, big at the slot. as a message <laughs> under his breath, and he, like, he, pull, he pulls up his drink like he's taking a drink. Fucking really? Yeah, Grim. You Grim need to say that right fucking now, did you? Grim, Grim goes to light a cigarette and messages back. Well, there's no time like the present. Are we gonna I fucking die? Bot in the kitchen. What oh god! I was asking why Bot was in the kitchen. Did he smell or food? Kitchen bathroom. I was I, I was wondering where I was at, but I didn't want to interrupt while everyone else was doing their little DM thing, and I had to keep my uh token within visual range but yeah bot is just taking this a tour until somebody stops him so this is oh. the buffet oh uh -oh. <laughs> oh no no, no! we had one the job <laughs> did i spell well, crabs right two. yes okay yeah. <laughs> buffet. okay well uh where's okay i guess she will follow because it's technically their job right now <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that... chair next to this Aragon. As we're as we're walking, 
he was going to ask, do we be worried at all that he decided to mention Severance? Yes, yes, we are. Great. So this plan's pretty much for naught? Well, that's why I'm at a table I can easily leave with little no bet. Find my name. I lose 10 to 15 happen. gold, it's fine. Have you seen Bot? Looks, Wasn't he supposed well, to be with say, Grim? They did say that you, they had you, unlimited all you could eat food, right? At the poster posted on the door. My fuck, did he you pay? Look over to, you look over to Grim, and Grim's smiling and waving and pointing at the Haragon next to him with a thumbs up. <laughs> oh my god, we're so fucked here. <laughs> also, to answer that question, I don't think he did. Uh, he will use message as he's like blowing on the dice to roll. Where the fuck is bot? And he'll throw the dice. <laughs> there is no free food. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know that. So we'll go to Grim real quick. God, I was gonna hit on her. <laughs> you could have. But I guess I kind of triggered. You the fucking thing for... triggered the event first. <laughs> Can you blame me though? What's your story, We're... gorgeous? Oh god! <laughs> oh, I'm just passing through. When passing through you? Oh, you're a betting girl. Well, not really. Not. Well, see, I'm a. Here. I'm a betting man. And I bet that you and me would go together real well. This guy's gonna get himself killed. I don't even I'm think we. Sorry, are. but you're not my type. As she kind of reaches up and fluffs one of her ears. Wow, reverse racism. Damn. That's a damn shame. <laughs> I know. I've been... I, I do know somebody who might be a little bit more your type, though. See that bunny man over there down yonder? Yeah, kind of hard to know. I know he was two seats down. I know him real well, and I again, I'm pretty good betting man. I bet he would love to come here and sit down with you. Oh, um, need something. Okay, sounds good. Well, Vincent, that cute talking. bunny girl over there is more and in, more into men with ears, and no, I guess she's not. Graham, stop! Yes? stop yelling across two blackjack tables. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where does it show you that I am on yours? Right here. <laughs> oh, I am on mine. I'm right here. <laughs> There you moved. Okay. Don't worry. I that just cute bunny girl over there, there is. So you can see him. <laughs> more your type. All right. Well, she he, likes men with the ears. He'll pat you on the shoulder. Where the fuck's your bodyguard? I don't know. <laughs> probably eating. Does he know we have to pay? Nah. He's nah. who he is. No. All right, I'll go find the I'll go find the otter. It is seafood night. Oh God! <laughs> you both, you both. Well, Q, go with them. Oh, sorry, hold on, hold on. I need to roll something for a bot. I really don't want to. This is a disadvantage too because here uh, and he'll hand you a he'll hand you a little couch go. with ten gold in it. I hope that covers the fucking buffet charge. Here's hoping, and Q will just head over. If not, make fucking. Grim pay. I know he just made a shit ton. Yeah. Ma'am, how much is the tickets for eating? Uh, where's Grim at, by the way? I can't see him on the map. I'm up in the buffet. Okay, okay. Two gold a person. This is one of the ritzy ones. Oh. Well, here's, uh, 12 gold. He's gonna eat for more than one person. 
Um, okay. Trust me, you probably want it. As Q just kind of walks shadows with their bow tie and stuff on. It's even worse because Bot is actually just eating at the buffet table. He's not taking a plate and going off somewhere. He just puts on his plate and he eats it that's on his plate. Actually, I'm gonna slide it. I'm gonna look over, look back, slide her eight more. Actually, he'll be eating for probably, probably throw four more people on top of that. Um, okay. But she looks deeply disturbed. <laughs> All right, bot. Go crazy. Personally, this Q just kind of walks past. Bot, you do know you have to at least get to oh, a table first. 17. I meant to put in normal, but. No, he's eating. Um, he's eating straight from the from the trough. I'd rather he not. Bot will just pick up the entire trough platter. Walks over to a table. Wait, so he literally took the metal container that was in there. Yes. Yeah, the ho the hotel tray. Oh yeah. my fucking god! <laughs> He's eating like a sumo wrestler. Damn. Fucking Q in the back of his head. Why the fuck did Vincent send me to help with these two idiots? Because he didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know he did it. He wanted to flirt with a woman. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well aware of why, but Q's just annoyed that they have to deal with this. <laughs> also, I'll just add 10 gold to my person, I guess. Now that I have that. So, meanwhile, down at the other bar. <laughs> Vincent will uh, saunter over. She'll, de like, again, as a herring on, she'll hear him before she sees him, but it's that very quintessential like Tap of the cane, heel click, heel click, tap of the cane. Like, he's definitely putting on a performance. And with a very high perception, she would notice. Oh, yeah. She... She does. You're definitely pulling off the Ritz. Um, hi. I absolutely have to apologize for whatever... My crass friend had said to you before. I don't know what he said, but I usually have to do this before I meet anyone. Actually, he was kind of a gentleman. A rare knight indeed. And he'll he'll hold out his hand in a very gentlemanly way, like palm up to hold, to gra for her to grasp. Vincent. She reaches out. Marianne. And he'll like just 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 lightly clutch the fingers and hold it up to his head. Not kiss the hand, but just tap his forehead against it. Can I buy you a drink, Marianne? Uh, sure. And he'll sit down. Uh, a quick glance. What does she look like? Because from the token, she looks like kind of a very similar occupation to to him. Well, I mean, she's... Oh, th those were not goggles. Those were sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. She seems like she might be for money. You're not sure. But as far as herringons go, she's dressed in more common day clothes. Well, we are... You know, like uh, off the shoulder and pair of short shorts. Uh, as we get our drinks, he'll clink them, and I do have to ask. Do the waitresses around here irritate you as much as they do me? Oh, yeah. And he'll take uh, he'll take a large he was, he swig knows. out of his uh, out of his Negroni and just go. Are they? Do you think it's like a weird like thing for humans? Like, are the ears the thing, or is it the legs we got? And he'll smirk at her and just definitely look at her like like he's he's not being coy, he's being a little coy, but. 
She kind of blushes a little bit. Well, in my experience, it's uh, it's the legs and the ears. And at least a few times the tail. She takes a very uncomfortable drink. <laughs> That's why I stopped showing mine. Just sucks being stuck behind clothes all day. But unfortunately, my friends kept making fun of me for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it ain't your fault, is it? No, not really, but I at least understand. You know what? And he'll, like, uh, reach into his briefcase, take a little pocket knife, and slit his, like, right above his lower spine for his pants. And it's this gigantic poof of a tail. Like, it is way too big. Ah. <laughs> oh. I feel better. Wow. That's quite the tail. Yeah. I think it's in my blood. I'm not sure where it came from, but it's, uh, I'm a bit fluffier than your average herring con. <sighs> oh, I apologize. Give me a second. I forgot my uh, last name. Vincent Madrin, at your service. Thomas. Marion Thomas. What a beautiful name. Thank you. You in town for anything special? Just passing through, thought I'd take a vacation and... Well, I ended up here. Nice rooms. And beautiful rooms if you can much. afford them. No, I haven't seen one myself. Oh, um... Kind of smiles a little bit. Maybe later I can show you one. That'd be lovely. And she just kind of goes into some small chat, small talk. Oh, and Vincent. Know you. Vincent, uh, not using his charisma, but using his intelligence, tries his best to continue on with that whatever conversation he she has I mean, she talks about work things like that oh she... uh he definitely would be interested in what she actually does uh she's a nurse and she's not from here she's uh for one of the next major cities over. And she came over with the train and is going back in a few weeks. A traveling nurse. That is actually very uh, admirable position to hold. I just, you know, tinker with things. He'll show you a couple of the random bullshit gadget he makes to impress people. Impressed. I can make things. I can't remake people. That, what you do is way much, much more impressive than whatever I can do. I can take all the time in the world. You have obviously limited time to fix what you have. Yeah, it's tough work. Long hours. But I feel it's rewarding. I'm sure it is. 
I could never do anything like that. Oh, got all those fears of blood or something? No, nothing like that. It's just, I don't, I'm not really good working at the timeline. And he'll point at one of them. That little flipping duck took me 12 weeks to make. And it's just a duck that does a flip. Oh, wow. That... Never really thought about how long something like that would take to make. Yes, something so unimpressive as a tiny little thing. The amount of calculations and calibrations I need to make to make it land. Oh, I nearly went mad. Wow. All I can say is wow, honestly. I can never show someone up. Don't think yourself short. It's not that hard. I mean, it's... Okay, I guess flesh is a little bit different than sewing up a garment. Um... Yeah, I don't think the average person would take a hammer very well. That's how I fix my stuff. I mean, there are medical hammers, but... I haven't had to use one of those ever, thankfully. I mean, it will happen sometime, for sure. If you keep up with what you're doing, I'm sure you'll need to use every tool in your trade. And don't take that as a bad thing. Take that as a bad thing for the people you need to fix. Hell, I've been in a couple forge accidents that may uh, have definitely needed some fixing. Oh. I've, I've seen a few of those, mostly burns. Yeah, I decided to add pure sulfur to water and see what happened. What happened was an explosion and that nearly blew my left ear, left ear off. Well, it's still there, so I guess you have some luck. He, he will definitely, like, give her the a couple seconds stare. Wink. Luck of the cottontail. She kind of giggles. I'm cool with leaving it there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it goes on for a bit. Oh, for sure. God, I'm hoping to... God, that elevator talk ride was forever. <laughs> God knows what happens when he comes back down. I missed everything you guys yeah. typed. <laughs> Uh, they're mostly just talking about eating. Q's just watching because they don't eat, so they don't have a risk. Yeah. Uh, Bot is just gorging himself, which I'm going to roll a contact to see if he goes into a food coma. Oh my god. Yeah, he's starting to get a little drowsy and he stops eating. Looks over to Q. Okay, Bot done. Alright. Oh, yeah. Wrong voice. Hopefully everything going on um that gentleman comes back from the elevator and we're not going to be immediately killed on off in this premises because someone played their cards completely wrong it looks over at grim oh i'm down at the slots oh uh, okay yeah i left ah uh, okay not bad problem well it's gonna be our problem Bot is just uh, leaving while he's munching on a salmon. If what if what Grim did was incorrect, we might all be have to make a speedy getaway out of here. And this is not a grease kind of problem. This is a run kind of. Okay. Bot pauses, looks over to the Baxi lady and the goblins there. No, nope. not right one. Was over to Grim. Oh god. Too smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Walks off. I 
do apologize for my friend's general rude nature. As Q kind of gives like a curtsy and then keeps walking. To Morgana. She just kind of passes it off like she doesn't even notice. And uh, nope. Bot the, takes a quick look over to Vince's direction and sees him talking to another rabbit person. Has just enough sense to not bother them, but he does make a friendly wave while said hand that's waving has a half chewed up salmon already and he just keeps going. I think we only came for the fucking food. Bob walks over here, sees the security guard, looks at the door, and it's clear that Bot is half asleep when he says this. Is this door exit? Guard points to either side. Bot, we're not leaving yet. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Okay. I say out here, feeling drowsy. You just see, Vincent, you just see Q shaking their head as they watch fucking, just like, pretty much a, a food baby comatose bot just walking down the fucking way. He will either use that... your, use his ear to point towards the copper slots or <laughs> the exit. Like, um... I'm good. <laughs> For now, Q just got to stay at the bar. Just watching everything, because it's probably like the best vantage point they have. So I'll ask Vincent, are you actually willing to go up to her hotel room, or...? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a D100. Oh, Thirty-one. That works. Hey. <laughs> For me to roll one. Uh. <laughs> he killed her. The fuck is a four me? <laughs> that might be our security detail coming to beat our ass. Did I win? <laughs> I I I feel like he. I feel like uh, Vincent may have landed the jackpot. Okay, you guys go up the elevators. Oh no. Oop, those two would not be there. Actually, here's a question. But I am going to bring... Is, is Bot going to be included in this uh, group run, or... God, no. <laughs> because he was already making his way towards the uh, the exit. It was like, mm. I'm going to drop heard... you down just to see. Yes. <laughs> but, uh... I already gestured to Q, like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, no, uh, Bot's case is more, uh, well... As soon as he heard from Q, like, oh, we might have screwed up. So we're going to have to run away. Bot is like, okay. So, Bot, clearly not being part of the most of the conversations, has done his deed of getting food, looking around the place, sniffing out people that might look interesting, and uh, makes his way out, just doing a very slow amble walk. I guess Q will kind of wait for, like, I'd say, like, an hour at most to see if that security guy ever ended up coming back down, and if not, they'll probably make their way out, too. You... Just to tell you, you get that feeling like when he did that, it meant we'll be in touch. Mm, okay, okay. Then, yeah, then Q will probably make their way out as well. They'll probably help nurse bot. 
probably like walking with like somewhat of a limp or food coma. I, uh, I, that's he's, up. he's just walking like lazily slow. <sighs> he knows that his button shirt is open because he's gained uh five inches across the stomach. Then yeah, I guess <laughs> I Q will not. just just follow the boy. <laughs> Most of that pistachio shells. Oof. So, you end up on the VIP suite level with her. Oh, fuck me, yes. So, if you guys did it bring you here, you right? Yep, we're here. Okay. At least I'm here. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, well, so. we're here in spirit. But uh, you guys are here to is watch. Only Grim's gonna explore. You guys are not actually here. No, I know, I know. She leads you down. Opens that door for you. You will gesture through, gesture her through like a gentleman. Yep. And these are the kind of suites that have, you know, like a living room like a, kind of area. Yeah, like a sitting room, and then there's the second secondary door for the bedroom. Yep. Is there anything you want to do while you're up here? What a beautiful sweep you have. It cost quite a bit. Sure it did. Oh, look, there you have a cowboy statue in the corner. <laughs> the, 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 the statue cost. And an otter fountain <laughs> in the other corner. <laughs> and a suit of armor in that other corner. Oh, look, they have a free Warforged. Everything, everything <laughs> reminds me of my crew. Hello, how may I help you today? <laughs> a, di a dire otter just standing over he'll, he'll the throw two. He will throw two, uh, two gold coins at the, uh, at the Warforged in the corner. Give us a good bottle of wine. My recommendations are a Zinfandel or a Pinot Noir. Either. Give us a Merlot. Ugh. Fuck you, you don't like draw wine. You don't have taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> Above table, I fucking hate Merlot. I like a sweeter wine. Uh, um, it, it depends on the Merlot, but I do like much drier wines. Fair enough. But either way, they'll probably go out and fetch that then. <laughs> I should mention that as you were in the hallway, you did notice that the door at the far end did have a guard and at, at the north end there? Hey, the this south way? end. Oh, the south end. Okay. And it did have a guard. Okay. Well, that ruined all of my plans. <laughs> Wait, I still have a second level spell slot. Never mind. She steps through. And he will linger near the doorway. And she steps out onto the balcony and motions for you to join her. He will. I closed the door. Eh, I made it. Now this. The view of the city. Yes, it is. Pretty up here. He'll gesture over to a darker corner. That, uh... Around that area is where I'm staying currently. Seems... Rustic? It is. But... Father told me that I needed to, uh... Expand myself, so he sent me off with just a couple gold in my pockets to uh, figure out things on my own. And I think I've done well so far. 
and he gestures to kind of to himself and you saw my friends I think I've made a gallant troop they are a colorful group colorful is, colorful is a spice of life is it not that it is meeting the folk that built this city And he'll, uh, he'll be a little bold. He'll kind of grab her by the waist and pull her closer to himself. And he'll start pointing okay. out, he'll start pointing out areas that he knows, like that area over there that has the best taco stand I've ever been at. No building, no nothing, just a cart. A solo gentleman that has the best food I've ever eaten. Over there, you've never seen fireworks like a gentleman in that area makes. At that shop right there, best mechanic you could ever find. Warforged fella, actually. Never thought a Warforged could actually be, you know, good at making other things. I've learned a lot in the past couple of years. What about you? What are your favorite places in this city? Oh, um... Well, I really haven't gotten around much, to be honest. Kind of... A bit scared of going out of places, to be honest. Well, would you like me to show you around tomorrow? Um. Yeah. That would be great. He'll let go of her hip and do a very exaggerated bow. My lady, I am at your service. She giggles. And he will kind of giggle as he stands back up. Well, then it's date. It is indeed. And he will wait for her to lead him back into the other room. It's so after a while, they're just, she likes looking out across things and hearing you talk about them. Yeah, much more small talk, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, the window's closed again. <laughs> <laughs> now you can roll me a... Per uh, you have a high enough perception, I think. What's your passive? 20... Uh, is it 20? I think it's... I think it's 20. Uh, Yeah. Perception is 20. Passive Investigation is a 23. You're pretty sure with the right gear you might be able to jump these balconies to get somewhere if you need to go. Possibly without getting noticed. Uh, I mean, so with, uh, with his knowledge of what he has, would Spider Climb would he be able to Spider Climb without being noticed? Assisting it and using the balconies for cover, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's that's kind of what he was going for. He was going to invite her out to the balcony before she already did, so. I can upcut spider. Can I? Nope. So. Either you can have a fade to black. Or... It's definitely a fade to black. He does the deed, for sure. Okay. Hell yeah! <laughs> I thought Grim would you not here. <laughs> <fade to black. laughs> the, the, the cowboy statue just yells, Hell yeah! Hell, Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting to hear a high noon, but okay. 
Well, it's actually evening now, isn't it? Well, someone's <laughs> getting something's getting high, and it's definitely not fucking noon. <laughs> oh god, what did I make it? It was Come a con on. save and something else. I forgot. The cowboy statue's in the back. Oh, uh, oh no, it was con and charisma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you I remember no, no. You this, you gave, I, when you did that to me, it was uh, performance and uh, constitution saving throw. So, uh... Alright, well, here's the con. Wow. Oh, I'm proficient in performance. Hey! hey. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Your anything. artificer boy does a good job. <laughs> yes. He's I definitely not after what I was about to say to the rest of it. I just kind of paused like, yeah. nope. There's Grim in the bed. She's definitely, she's definitely got a, uh, it's not a one night stand if it goes to two. Yeah. <laughs> Grim's in the bed. We're, we're fucking uh, rabbits, all right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that, that is what's happening right now. <laughs> but, uh, yep, yeah, nope. So, yeah. Just, uh, uh, I guess in the morning you guys will not see Vincent, <laughs> so it's up to you three at this point. And Abba is just uh, once he gets back to the bar, he just goes into a comatose sleep. And he wakes up in the morning, goes, cleans up, dispenses all uh, food that he had been comatose in. <laughs> I'm gonna put myself in the corner just so I can, so stream can see. Gets Weird the bowl enough. of uh, not eaten uh, pistachio seeds and begins to devour them too now. It's weird not having an <laughs> arcane lock on the, but at least the alarm still. As Q kind of calls back the metal sh shavings. Well, that's it. It hits that time. It looks we'll like work. Vincent's not coming home. I knew he had it in him. He's got about. 2.4 minutes if he doesn't and he's getting shot but confused did not uh vincent get the lucky vincent got the lucky but my worry is that if he's in bed with the women quite literally that he might turn tail on the job what? Nah. have you ever seen that's stereotypical where people just go soft for the ones they love because they're afraid to endanger them. Money comes oh. first for that rabbit. We'll see. He's got a minute and 30 seconds. Why is countdown? Till I lock the door. I suggest we lock it. <laughs> but yeah, lock, lock that door. door. My senses are tingling. <laughs> he ain't coming home. Man, this is gonna try to open the door, and then if some fucking alarm's gonna go off. I'm waiting. <laughs> I think I'll go upstairs with our lovely bartender here and have my own fade to black. What do you say, darling? She looks at you for the like hundredth time. No. <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. I'm going to rest. I have to think of how I'm going to contact B in the morning. Bot just takes off the very nice coat that he has gotten. Gets his old one back on. Bot thinks he needs to go see Water Hose and Fireball and Rock. It is morning now, is it? Or is it uh, evening already? I, I don't know, actually. I thought we were about to the next day. That's why. Yeah, I was that, that's uh, that was me asking the DM. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then I'm not going to bed. Yeah, I thought it was the next day. Oh, okay, it can be. Oh well, if it's night, I, I don't mind. We can just. I thought it was la of... the night before. Oh, okay, oh, then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, th I figured we were. Yeah. Okay, but All right, if it is the uh, night before, then yeah, no, Bot just takes off the good-looking uh, coat and actually folds it. Not well, but he does try to fold it. Places it on the counter. He's going to hop over behind the counter and goes to sleep under the counter. Before you rest, Bot, is this water hose a good person? Or trustworthy? 
at the very least. Do bot? Yes. To most people, rather than just yourself. Need invitation. She doesn't do mechanical stitching, does she? No. Figured as much. Hence, bot says, you rust. So, the next morning comes. And I suppose the way that the alarm works, it goes off as a uh, envelope is slid under the door. <laughs> Thank God Q doesn't fucking sleep. So, immediately as that goes off. The rifle you slept. don't have because it's in my briefcase. <laughs> Bot just they comes have, out. They just make a rifle out of hand. fucking metal shavings and fucking shoot it at it. <laughs> just force them out of it. Just slap it in the door. Well, someone set it off. And Q goes to grab it. Release the letter. And then proceeds to open it up. Inside is a single Polaroid. Or I guess this world's equivalent to a Polaroid. In it, you see a man, or what's left of one, that you vaguely remember from the bar. Well, you with keen mind distinctly remember this guy from the bar last night, the one that Severance took away. Whatever happened to this guy, it was long and it was painful. And it was savage. The terms going medieval on someone comes to mind. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All I can think of medieval. is flail. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be, if anything, that would be an insult. But all right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, this, the term blood eagle comes to mind, but. Ooh, better. Ew. Hell yeah. Well, then. Is that who I think that is? That's the man that w went, went home with severance. At the bottom of the photo, in the white area, you see an arrow that points to the side. Uh, does it say anything? Well, do you, do you flip it over? Flip oh. it over, oh, dumbass! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Look, up <laughs> on the table, my brain just shut down. Like, oh boy, an arrow! <laughs> Come it on, Warforge. Flip it over. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll flip it over. It just says, you better be legit. Well, that's it. And that's where seems we're going like to end. We're, seems, <laughs> seems like we're official. <laughs> he just hands, passes the letter around. Do you really pass it to bot? Not to fucking bot, to Grim. Well, damn. I've heard of a man-eater, but this is crazy. Well, I'll make sure to tell Vincent when he gets back. And Q puts it in their cloak. Jeez. Yeah, and that's where we'll end for the night. Don't fucking eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Goth Mogul. Thank you for joining us for. God, this is only session two. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> session so two. Happened. And it feels so deep already. <laughs> we are horrible people. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Goth Moogle, and this has been Session 2, and I'll see you again in another two weeks when you come back around to me. Um, but up next, for next Sunday, is Miser. Hello, everyone. This is Miser Mark. I play as Bot. As you can see, the guy is, uh, he's our chaotic gremlin for uh, this party. I seem to have a knack for playing them at times, but, um, yeah, so, Into the Wildlands, coming up next Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 8.30, depending on how quickly we get ourselves settled. You can find my content on both YouTube and Twitch under Miser Mark. 
And I'm going to hand it over to my other fellow Chaos Gremlin who has caused <laughs> a lot of us to jaw drop things, Mr. Salad. Hello, I'm Violated Salad. I play um, Grim here and Shub in the Wildlands. And you can find my content down below where I... I mainline Grimace shakes. <laughs> I'll pass it to um, Mariner. Hello, I translate Mariner. I play a plethora of characters in all the games for pretty much every week. And in about, I'd say a month now or a little bit under, we'll be uh, one in the chamber. We'll come back and the party will face off against a vampire lord and get to talk to Kyle's brother for a little bit. And that'll be fun. And maybe a shark won't explode this time in their face. It all depends. But yeah, um, with all that, uh, I stream occasionally on Twitch. I haven't been in a little bit just because I've been busy, but I want to try to get back into the swing of stiff because I want to try to finish up Elden Ring before all the DLC. And I will pass it over to some other nerd that plays Elden Ring occasionally, Jeebus. Yes, uh, I have been streaming Elden Ring quite, quite consistently the past couple of weeks and actually right after this we're going to take a short break and we're going to be hopping back onto Elden Ring uh we are in a couple of the snow both of the snowy areas in Elden Ring but uh you can find all of our D&D content on this channel at YouTube Jeebus the Dingus please come by check out all of our stuff I love all of our DMs uh I think I'm the worst, but please nah. check out, fuck it, check out the, uh, the channels. I should make a playlist for each of the games and I will eventually, most likely, probably not, but all of my friends are fantastic DMs, fantastic players. D and D is so fun. Please give it a chance. Uh, but, uh, I'm going to hop on to, uh, YouTube Goodbye. We love you. Everybody else say goodbye. I'm going to end my YouTube Bye. stream. Oh, goodbye. Maybe we'll send us off. Uh, it's good. <laughs>